Okay, looks like we're all recording. Everything looks good. Welcome back, everybody. We got a new bear, and we're ready to go ahead and try and uh, make some progress today. Last time, we tried to fight the gym leader, and she's really tough right now. So I went ahead and thought that maybe we could go to Lost Lorne Forest. I went ahead and I got out Meowth because it has cut. I also put the EXP share on Sandshrew so it can evolve and we can get a dex entry. I think today what I wanted to do was I wanted to see if I can make a big push for the dex and definitely get it over 100 and then some. Because up till now, I've kind of just like put some things in the box because I just kind of been too lazy to take them out and use the stones. But if I wait until like the very end, it's just going to be like a straight hour of that. So, oh, by the way, um, because the month changed, it's actually summer now, not spring. So if things look a little different, that's why. Let's go up here. Oh, hang on. What do we got here? Hey, free Audino to fight. Last time we did test Dragon Dance on the Amulga, and two Dragon Dances, and I still can't kill it. So maybe one or two levels would make it okay. Poor thing. It thinks it stands a chance against me. Entrainment. My ability became Serene Grace. Uh, okay then. Good for that. Will Dragon Rage do more? About the same, actually. Well, this is annoying, but we can finish it off still. She had four guys with static? Yes. She also had an Ampharos that hit seven Focus Blasts in a row. When we see it again, we're gonna see if it gets to eight in a row. Don't worry. I'm getting ready to give a complaint to the people behind the RNG. Well, we got our Shrew evolved. Hey, I wonder if actually we could use Sand Slash in this gym. Um... No, probably be better to use a rock ground type, actually. Because something like that can wall a Molga, because it's just U turn acrobatics outside of its electric moves. Okay, let's go to 88. Pokedex counter. Oop. 88. I say the number out loud so I don't accidentally click the wrong one. I'm trying to be extra sure. It might actually work, yeah. We have to mix the team up a bit. I was expecting a double battle and she caught me off guard with the single. Well, I guess I can just take the EXP share off this thing. Um, keep Fracture up front for now. Metal Claws and Egg move normally. Oh, wait, the Cut Tree isn't for Lost Lorn Forest this time. If only I looked a little ahead, I could have realized that. Psy Shock. Um. Yeah, single battle so she can spam Volt Switch. Let's go ahead and check some stuff out. I wonder if we can get anything special here. Oh, Shelmet's here. Um. How do you evolve Shelmet and Carablast in this game? Genuine question. I didn't think about that. I've played some games that add, like, a specific stone just for those two. But if they're normally a trade, maybe they just make them evolve at a set level. I'll use a false, false swipe here. Go for it. You just have to level up with Carablast in the party. Oh, okay. That sounds pretty reasonable, actually. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, code for that should exist because, um... Mantike, right? Because you have to level up with Remo Raid in the party. It might be easy of them to just, like, could have just taken the, um... Throw Netball. The code for that and just kind of change Remo Raid to Carablast and Shelmet. Mantike is kind of unique like that, isn't it? Is Mantike the only Pokemon that does that? Okay, here comes Shelmet. 89, everybody. 89. We're gonna slowly train a bit for Alyssa, and then we're also gonna power up by uh, adding to the decks. When attacked, it defends itself by closing the lid of its shell. It can spit a sticky, poisonous liquid. Alrighty. No. If I find a Carablast, I'll take them both out, and we'll just level them up. Oh, wait, I just realized something. If I don't get them both a level in the same battle, 
then that means that um I'm gonna have to get another of the the little form. Oh. I guess I'll have to be careful about that, won't I? Hey, quick question. What did I just pick up? I don't remember. I was, was thinking. You know, there are many people in the world with different values. Some people enjoy things you might th not think are fun. Having a lot of different values in the world makes it a richer place. That's what I think. Own claws. Okay. I really enjoy traveling around the world and talking with different people, but the woman who lives here seems to think living quietly by herself is important. All right. Anything over here? Now, does this do anything? Because normally you need an event legendary from Gen 4 for this to work. But they didn't keep that, of course. This is a comfy looking little RV here, I have to say. Got more furniture in a regular Pokemon house. Nothing? Hmm. I guess I need to come back with something specific, don't I? Nothing over here. I'm just not really using the item finder, no. They have this whole unique location just for an event that no one was able to do. Kind of frustrating when you think about it. If we're dealing with bugs here, maybe I could just put Houndoom up front for a second. I want to see what's available in the woods. I'm not sure if, uh, Excalav Excalavier? Excalivir? However the hell you say it. Or a Selgor would be good for this fight. Unless Excelagor could, um, maybe set up some kind of status move, but then again, she can just Volt Switch out of it. Also, Pichu. As soon as I switch for bug types, Pete Little Pichu comes out. Will I kill it if I use Incinerate? Let's find out. Look at him hop up and down. Yep. I'll just I'll just switch to um Fracture next time. You think Fracture would be better at this point, even with the Eviolite, but it's still getting swamped by electric types. Oh! Okay. Not really something for Ellis' gym, but it's there. Survive a snarl. Detect. It would be nice if I could set up stealth rocks or something for her, but I doubt that would do much. Darn, I thought it would live at red. I don't have access to the move reminder, though. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put Fracture up front. As the Shelmets don't want to come out anymore. And I'm just taking them out with Houndoom. Let's go... Her little thing here. <clears throat> Pardon me, jeez. Suddenly can't talk through my own throat. Let's go ahead and do this to you. I don't have TM for Stealth Rock, no. If someone's got it, they're gonna have to... It's gonna have to be a level-up move. I drain already, don't mind if I do. I got net balls, so this should be pretty easy to catch stuff. Okay, they're already hurting me. Get in there, you. By the way, I think people said you get the shiny charm at Nimbasa City. Now, were they talking about uh, Blaze Black and Volt White 2? Or do I have to find, like, an NPC for that or something? I'm actually curious. Oh, so I just reached 90. Let's go to 90. Oop. It can hover in one spot by flapping its wings at high speed. It fl uh, flits about to guard its territory. Send it to the box. There's a lot of bug types around here, but... Not sure they'd be very good for dealing with her. Oh, there's Carablast. What a weird name, Carablast. It doesn't really sound like a bug name to me. 
Let's go. I mean, I've never used um, their evolutions in a main run before, have I? It wouldn't hurt to try them if they're any good. Provided they have, like, good natures or something. Or we're just gonna find a Ghastly again and it's gonna have, like, um... <laughs> it's gonna have Adamant. No Shiny Charm, because Blaze Black and Volt White 2, they just changed the Shiny Odds altogether. Okay. Send out Togetic here. Throw a Netball at it. Carapace plus Blast. Okay. But with a K, like Mortal Kombat. You'd ideally want Timid, Excalivir, and Brave Aceligor. Okay. Oh, hang on. 91. Progress is progress today. Last time, the last couple episodes, we were kind of in cutscene hell for a good while, so I didn't get to catch too much. These mysterious Pokemon evolve when they receive electrical stimulation while they are in the same place as Shelmet. Send it away. You think I'm gonna get the ideal natures? I'd hope so. You need a waterfall to get up there. Pichu! Oh, wait. My fracture's down. Friendship Evos don't take long. Hmm. But we worry about that when we're after... Yeah, after we're done, Alyssa. Come on. 92, let's go. I went for the raw great ball and it worked. Okay. The electric sacks in its cheeks are small. If even a little electricity leaks, it becomes shocked. Uh-oh. Poor baby mouse. No, I can't buy quick balls yet. Otherwise, I'd be stocking up on those for a Pokedex run. Oh, I should try fishing here, actually. No problem. I may have already caught everything here, but you never know if there's a 1%. I'm not sure. We've seen some areas with 5%. Remember Wellspring Cave had rare Teddy Ursas and Axew? I caught both of them, by the way, and they're good staples on my team now, for sure. Let me see. You can't just run the same six Pokemon for the whole run. Pidgeot, I'm kind of replacing, though, because Pidgeot's not really that great in the long run of a difficulty hack. Oh, okay, Murkrow. You can also find this in Pinwheel Forest, but I want it now. Okay. I've got Sheer Force on Ursa Ring, but nothing to make use of it yet. So taking time to work on the decks while um, training up some new party members might be okay. But I'm gonna go back and take a look at something that might be good for Elisa. Um, what about, I mean, I did catch an Onyx, but like, can Onyx really do anything? Oh, uh, it didn't work. My critical captures don't lately. Well, yeah, I guess don't, don't spoil stuff for me unless I'm specifically looking for it. The decks will get narrowed down as we continue, of course. Onyx is terrible, yeah, but Amolga can't hit it with anything. Come on. I wonder if the Onyx knows Stealth Rock. Wouldn't that be so funny if I could just lead with Onyx and it uses that? If it can learn Stealth Rock within a few levels, I might, it might actually be worth considering. No joke. I think I, I don't think I have Dusk Stones yet. In Gen 5, Onyx gets Stealth Rock at 38. That's a bit far away to get. Oh my god, get in the ball already. What about Blaze Black? If it's changed in Blaze Black to be earlier, I'd say it'd be worth running. I'm getting real tired of your crap here, Murkrow. My false swiper is dead. Get in the ball. 
Come on. The Tenny demands it by raising his sword. You jerk. Well then. Can the Sand Slash, like, hit it with, like, anything weak? No, that'll probably kill it. I mean, Swift will probably live because it's special. Go ahead, Nightshade me. Wow, that did nothing. Do it again. So much for your big defense there, Sand Slash. If you don't get in the ball now, I swear. This Murkrow has been by far the most troublesome thing. It just won't get in. Okay, finally. Just had to get it down to red. 93. Beautiful. Darkness. If spotted, it will lure an unwary person into chasing it, then lose the pursuer on the mountain trails. Well, that's pretty rude. Is that why it ends up in Kanto in Gen 2? It just got lost? Probably. Murkrow's catch rate is atrocious. Probably a remnant of Gen 2, yeah. Oh, Surskit. I could get my own Scald Masquerade with Intimidate. Oh, why are you up front? Why are you up front? <laughs> Uh-oh. I can't buy Ultras yet. I'm just gonna go for the Netball. Netball is basically better than an Ultra Ball in this situation, right? Difficulty hacks are cool, and I wanted to do, like, full Pokedex in this one because of uh, the fact that all Pokemon are available in some way. So it's fun to hunt them down. Last major one I did was definitely for Fool's Gold with over 400. So we're setting a new record for uh, 649 if we do it. It appears as if it is skating on water. It draws prey with a sweet scent from the tip of its head. Prey? Bro, you... This thing preys on things? Well then. We caught a Surskit. It's not it wouldn't be very good for the, the electric gym, though, let's be real. In fact, didn't they make masquerade water flying? Or bug water? Pawn scanners actually are carnivorous. Oh, interesting. I don't think I have caught a rock and roll. Oh, I still have Meowth up front. What am I doing? What on earth am I doing? <laughs> Switch and, like, r let's run. And let me... Sw yeah. Let's change my lead Pokemon, and let's go back to, um, the city. I can swap the Sand Slash with something else to train anyway. We're close to 100. For the love of everything. Damn it. One more. Oh! Well, I need that. Okay, one more catch, everybody. It's probably rare, too. Oh, crap. I might kill it. It has Levitate, too. Oh, damn it. I can't do anything to you with this Pokemon. Can't fall swipe it, either, even if I did have a, a Fracture. Let's do it. Well, Fool's Gold is cool, but it has a lot of weird Pokemon that uh, you basically have to look up how to get and evolve. Because the whole gimmick is that every Pokemon Gen 1 to 3 are um, basically, like, reimagined as a regional variant. It's pretty cool to slowly hunt down the Pokemon in that one, though, for sure. Love to do this in, like, one of the Gen 6 or Gen 7 mods as well, someday. Okay, now I'm gonna use Yawn on it. I kind of forgot I even had Yawn, to be honest. Let's do it. Oh, am I peeking the mic? I don't actually know. Streamer can't remember his own silly mic settings. I kind of want it in a heal ball, because if it's good, I want to use it. Did Miss Magius or a Haunchcrow receive any buffs in this game? A little curious. Because those two are cool Pokemon, but you never really get to use them. 
In Pearl version, you can find Mistrevis in um, a turn of forest, and in Diamond, you can find Murkrow. But the only way to get a Dusk Stone early is to catch like Pachirisu and get get it via pickup or something. Otherwise, you have to wait a long while to find one. Pokemon that startles people in the middle of the night, it gathers fear as energy. Okay, 95, let's go. Number 95, and don't you forget it. Wasn't Miss Maggie a fairy type in Renegade? W were they? I believe so. But fairy type's not in this. Baby Fluttermane. I still think there's Pokemon to catch in this grass somewhere. Oh, look at that! Ekans! We definitely don't have that, and I believe it's already ready to evolve in one level. Actually, hang on, can this thing, like, poison? Because if I send it in with, like, Intimidate or something... I'm, I'm thinking, like, weird strats for, the, for this now, aren't I? Let's do it! Excellent. Okay, 96. We're filling that dex today and not really getting any experience. It's not until Gen 6 that you, um, you get XP for catching. It sneaks through the grass without making a sound and strikes unsuspecting prey from behind. Give a nickname? Heck no. Okay, we caught a good haul of things. Let's go back. I'm gonna take a look at the PC and see if it, literally anything I caught is usable. Outside of just being a fancy little fancy pants for collection. I wonder if I could use Paris Song in some way. I mean, Elisa would be switching out of it. If I get down to last Pokemon, it, it wouldn't be able to. Safeguard doesn't block Parish Song, does it? <clears throat> I actually don't know. Pardon me. Hmm. Let's check this. First, we got the Yanma. It has Sassy with Compound Eyes. Parablast has no guard. It also has False Swipe, though. Hold up, I think I'm actually gonna sneeze. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Streamer is alive. Ekans has Naive with Shed Skin. Bleh. Docile, Levitate, Astonish, Confuse Ray, Mean Look, and Hex. Bleh. Hardy Nature with Swift Swim. Naughty with Prankster. Um, I, too bad I don't really have anything to use Prankster with. Modest with, uh, okay, Modest Pichu is not the worst thing in the world if you want to run only special. Um, yeah, that's, hang on. Hmm. Could do something with that, yeah. Maybe not right now, because I don't think it's going to be too helpful in the gym, especially when I don't have any attack moves. I just have Thunder Wave and Wish. Impish Nature, Sandstorm. Hmm. Don't know if I can do much with that, though. Do I have any other rock types? I got the Shelmet over here. That's where this one went. Gentle Nature. It's got Yawn. Not that that makes much of a difference. I got a Geodude. It's quiet. I don't know. What level is the Onyx? You can set up a Sandstorm. You can use Smackdown. <laughs> is that all it can do? I mean, Gligar is a wasted spot against her anyway, so I could just bring this in for a second and watch the chaos happen. Hang on. I guess I could give the experience share to Ekans and we can just get Arbok out of the way. I don't think I need Cut again right now, right? 
I think I can just take other stuff. So I'll just take the Surskit, because Masquerain's right around the corner. Let's do this. Pichu does got Nasty Plot, yeah. That could be nice. That sneeze made me a little bit stuffy. Give me a second here. The problem is, like, the move reminder is in Skyla's Town, and I don't even think I have, like... I have, like, one... Uh... Yeah, just... Just the one heart scale, I think. Hang on. I didn't check these buildings yet. Oh, what's this? I will judge your battles in a battle test. Uh, yeah, we don't need to do this. Don't think this gives us anything. As it happens, Nimbasa City is a major destination for battles. There are Pokemon trainers in lots of these buildings. Battle Subway. Don't think there's anything down there except the judge. Leisurely trips by train, riding from Gear Station to Anvil Town feels like a dream. People say shiny Pokemon look like they're gleaming when they come out of the grass. Shiny Crocorock, I wonder what colors they are. Uh, isn't it like kind of green, or am I thinking of something else? If I compared the glow of Nimbasa to something, it would be the stars. Yes, the stars. It inspires me to give you these. Okay, then. We have a Togekiss. Shiny stones are important to make Pokemon evolve. I gave one to Mincino as a present. You love your Pokemon. Even if you change, uh, if it changes appearance, you'll stay connected. When a Pokemon evolves, it gets stronger and it changes its appearance significantly. Pokemon you keep from evolving will learn moves more quickly. Yeah, and other hilarious jokes you can tell yourself. All right. I'd say since we're, we put the Eviolite on Fracture now, I say we just go for Togekiss. I don't think there's really anything else to level up with, but, or any moves to get. Okay, let's update the counter to 97. Appreciate how they give me multiple shiny stones. Awesome. China Crocorock has yellow stripes instead of black, and its midsection is blue instead of red, apparently. Sick. Togekiss has been very positive on this team, I would say. Look at that little friend. What I catch the Togepi in? I don't even remember. A Pokeball. Okay. We got 104 special attack now. That's the Surskit. Compare it to Fracture, who is best stat is attack at 101. Serene Grace with Ancient Power and Tri-Attack is nice, but the big one we want to get is Air Slash, right? That's the one that can make them flinch. And then maybe instead of Yawn, we want to run Thunder Wave or something. Ancient power boosts have saved me. Like, that's literally how I beat Berg. So, I could teach it fly, but I want a special move, and fly is going to be annoying to delete later. Okay, let's go. I'd like to find a shiny in this. Now, hang on. Is the shiny stone in this town, or do, or does, like, the professor give it to me in a cutscene or something? Have you seen the musical? My own Pokemon up on the stage. That is indescribably moving. Castelia City is the heart of business. Nimbus is the city of leisure. Heart of leisure. Various people, Pokemon, gather all over Yanova, and the region's becoming more lively. You, experience feeling like a powerful man. Oh, strength. Uh, that's here? Wait. It, that, is it where it normally is? Pokemon that can use strength can push a big rock even when it's not fighting. You want to push some rocks around? Go to Route 16. Because I don't remember it being here. I think I normally just skip it. Sports game, like baseball or football, starts at a certain time every day. That's in Big Stadium. Oh, my. Your Ursa Ring seems to like you. Hell yeah, my teddies like me. That's so nice to see. It makes me want to give you this. Soothe Bell. Well, we can give it to Pikachu. Or, sorry, Pichu. If a Pokemon holds the Soothe Bell, it will become more friendly to you. In small courts, you can find games of basketball and tennis.
Gonna have to move Remind Togekiss. Try Attack will be a good stab option for now, then. It's actually been pain to, like, look around these houses, hasn't it? There are performers crowding Route 5, seeing all the fun of the Pokemon trainers are having... Yeah. All of the fun the Pokemon and trainers are having fills me with energy. I swear I can read English, chat. And hop in here for some battles right quick. I did say we change it up. Are they playing basketball on a grassy field? Improve by having a lot of battles. Now, I'm no expert on basketball. Like, I don't watch basketball, I don't play basketball, but I'm reasonably certain you do not play it on grass. Bobby got a Whirlpeed. That doesn't sound like a fun experience. Not gonna lie. We've got Pokemon in the back to level up for evolution, so we're doing this. This is true, you don't play it on grass. I know that, like, um... What you play a sport on is actually really important in, in competitive environments. Like, I remember reading something about how, like, I think it was, like, for tennis. They use, like, some weird clay for, like, um, to make the tennis field. And it, the, something about the material was so rough that it just made, like, everyone's freaking legs tired and everyone hated it. So they had to ban it. Let's see here. Even something as, like, simple as that can, like, cause issues. Fight against your opponent can end in a blink of an eye. Important thing is damage prepare. Don't play basketball just because I'm tall. Maybe I grew tall because I wanted to play basketball so badly. Okay. Only one of them wants to fight. Can check out the other one now. They seem to give good money. Athletes make good money. There we go. Oh, is it sealed off? Sorry, cannot go on the field. Game is in progress. Let's see. It'd be pretty hard to dribble a ball on grass. Yeah, wouldn't it? Well, we got one free battle in there. Maybe there's still a trainer towards the right end of the route. I haven't checked. We're close to that 100. Oh, right. Can push this. Um, I don't have any Pokemon on me to teach strength as a throwaway move, but I'll get that out next time I visit the PC, and we can check the big grass. I ride a bicycle, I feel fresh winds, and I win Pokemon battles. Heck yeah! Cyclist Hector. Excellent. Should be fine. Well, yeah, there's lots of sports games that are played on grass, but I know that, like, the grass has to be, like, cut a certain way, doesn't it? I, I actually... Genuine question. For, like, baseball fields and football fields, is that stuff, like, artificial grass, or do they actually, like, have it growing and, like, taken care of a certain way? Let's see. Come on. Burrowed underground. That horse is not kicking me. Depends. Artificial's better. Usually it's artificial grass. What does artificial grass, like, feel like? It can't be, like, that sharp, plasticky one. Not that they'd probably fe uh, feel it, because, like, everyone, like, wears gloves, right? Maybe not soccer players. Let me see. It said Marvelous Bridge is being checked. Checked for what? Let's go back to Lost Lorne for a second. Let's see if there's anything else I can find here. It's just rubbery to step in. There we go. And then there's hockey, which you gotta play that on ice. They have a special thing to take care of that. Like, you, you've all heard of the Zamboni before, right? Isn't it kind of weird that we as a society have invented, like, a whole freaking machine ve slash vehicle just for making the ice right for playing hockey on... Or I suppose also skating ice, true. Never been quite sure what that thing does. It just sounds funny to say Zamboni. I may have caught everything here now. If the ice is uneven, it would obviously cause issues, yeah. Critical hit. 
Oh, wait, I just realized something. I didn't put the EXP share on Ekans or anything. <sighs> Ursa Ring is beginning the full experience the whole time. Not that that's a bad thing, he clearly needs it. There they are. Six of them. There's not much point in giving multiple experience shares, it's just gonna divide it up more. Let's check the grass outside here. Because I've only caught a few things here before, right? And Audino can also pop in. Okay, we need that. Could it live a faint attack? I'm too lazy to switch to um, my false swipe user. What evolving Shelmet and Carablast you could use too. That's true. You're right. I was thinking about switching them a weird way. No, that's a way better idea. You're a bug type, so let's get catching you here. There's a lot of bug types on this side here. But a lot of them just aren't really what I need to fight the next leader. Hang on a second. I, remember I caught Nido King, or sorry, Nidorino and Nidorina? What about Nido King and Nido Queen? Because they're ground type. I wonder if they could do something in that battle. Hold up a second. What am I? 98. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mushrooms named uh, Tochukasu grow on its back. They grow along with the host Paris. The mushrooms on its back are its friends. Let's go. Ursa Ring is one kill away from just evolve or not evolving, a leveling up, so I want him to have it. I want my bear to get stronger. I think it was level 30 this thing evolves, right? Did they change the type for um, strength? Good question, I'll check that in a second. Nido King gets a level up move, Earth Power at 43. Ooh, yeah, let's use Nido King for a special ground move. 99. Who's Pokemon 100 gonna be? There we go. It looks just like a pine cone. Its shell protects it from bird Pokemon that peck it by mistake. Making progress, lads. Making progress. Now, what else is here? Spoink! Baby Pig is here, too? That's not what I was expecting. Don't crit. Oh, he's going Shockwave. And I didn't crit, but I killed it anyway. Come on, Ursa Ring. I'm just gonna use a potion on it. I don't feel like going back. The pig is down, I'm afraid. Artificial grass is just rubber with, like, fake grass underneath it, basically. Okay. It can actually give more injuries, though. Oh. Makes controlling the ball better. We don't want Combi. This one's a guy. We only want it if it's um a girl. I don't make the rules. Male Combi can't evolve. Thirty-five. Okay, we'll take that. Respectable plus three. I'm gonna put Fracture up front now that I got that level. Okay, chat, I don't have sport experience. You think I play sports? <laughs> I just played Pokemon in middle school. That's how I know so much. To make you vidyas. Yeah, let's run away. I want to say it's level 30, Fortress happens. I wonder if Fortress could set up spikes or... No, wait, no, that wouldn't work as a Molga and stuff. Let's go. There's professional football players that really hated fake grass. Interesting. Got away safely. Hydrate and posture check. I'll sit my butt just fine. Hang on. Oh, I hit my armchair. 
Let me get a drink. No, I could take that. Not sure how good this is, though. The netball works on it. Oh, I forgot to check strength. My bad. At one point, fake grass was able to cause cancer. Are you serious? Really? That bad? I can't tell if you're bamboozling me. I could send in Skarupi and use Acupressure. That'd be a funny strategy. I think there should be a male Combi Evo, yeah. Or a male Sal a Salandit. Let's do it. Okay, new Pokemon, number 100. Everybody post Cheer Bears, we hit 100. Only 549 left to go. And this is only VOD number 6. As soon as the tail claw, uh, the tail claws close, it, its needle tips secrete poison. It can survive a year without food. Okay, it can just do that? Damn. The Teddy Ursus are cheering. And that one's raising his sword to the sky for a Skyward Strike. I'm running out of Teddy emotes to show for the first time. But I gotta put a new one in the corner. We're gonna have to start using the basic ones. Let's see what else is here. I've beaten a few trainers, caught a few Pokemon. I evolved one of my main one of my main team members. That'll help, but it's also a an electric gym. So <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work as Togekiss. I mean, you know what I could do, actually? I could lead with Togekiss, throw the raw try attack, and hope that it just, like, hits a Molga with, like, a status condition. Or I could throw the raw ancient power, hope I get the boost with Togekiss, and sweep the whole team. Ancient power would be super effective on, um... Super effective on, um... Uh, Gavantula, that's its name. Jeez, I forgot. Let's go. Humans aren't too smart throughout history. I know. Do you guys ever hear the thing about how, like, back in, the, like, the early... I want to say 1920s or... Or it could even be earlier than that. Um, there used to be, like, people who competed in, like, um, you know, bicycle races, right? And there was, like, a myth or whatever that smoking... That smoking something would actually, like increase the size of your lungs temporarily so you could breathe better. So there'd be, like, all these old pictures of people, like, getting ready to run, like, a big, like, bicycle race, and they're just sitting on the side smoking. And it's like, oh my god. As an asthmatic, just reading that, just like, w what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong? Okay. Just put Houndoom up front for a bit. I haven't seen the grass shake for a bit. Look at that Ekans. Ekans is here to cause some darn fun is what it's doing. I could easily get to 37 while we look. I don't know if there's any rare any more rare encounters to find here. I think what I should do after I evolve the Ekans with me, teach something strength and check the dark grass. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Okay, well, this works. Let's get it. Burn its citrus berry. This will probably get me an Arbok. We started at like 80 something today, right? I wanted to make a big push for the decks. Maybe when we get back, we can take out a few Pokemon and use a Stone Evo. Are you serious? That sucks. At least it can't use a Tract on me. Let's do it. Okay, Serene Grace. I'll just uh, go for the... 
They act the higher chance of burn then, you jerk. A thousand on Ekans, but not enough. Let's look around. I love how when I put Houndoom up, the bug types kind of stopped. Serene Grace means 200% chance of special attack drop on Snarl. Ooh, you're right. Did we start at 88? I think it was like 86, 7? I don't know. Someone should scroll back and check. It was definitely 80 something. Damn, Ekans, go away already. I don't think I've seen any of these with Intimidate either. Oh, there it is. Just had to open my mouth. Electrike, this must be a rare encounter. Hang on. Let's get my false swipe user out for this one. Wait, is um it's sleeping. Okay, whatever. I told you it would pay off to keep checking this grass. Hang on a second, wouldn't this be one level away from evolving as well? I'm not sure we could do much against Elisa with it, but pays the check. Let's do it. He's going Spark. Do that. Yeah, level 26. It's it's a fast Pokemon to evolve. Get it with that. Well, that sucks. Just throw a Great Ball at it. Lightning Rod negate, like, makes it negate electric moves. It's essentially the same as Volt Absorb without the Absorb part. Okay, 101. Uh, hang on. Did I catch anything after Skaroopy? Skaroopy was 100, but I guess I've just been killing things for the last little bit. Using electricity stored in its fur, it stimulates its muscles to heighten its reaction speed. A little puppy. See, that's prob- I have an idea. I have an idea here. You know why Elisa also only has single battles? Because if you did doubles and one of your Pokemon had Lightning Rod, that would completely wall her. That would absolutely destroy her team, I feel. Forcing it to be one-on-one -on -one gives her Pokemon more options to deal with Pokemon that wall electric. Yeah, I fully went into her fight expecting a double. But no, she's loaded for singles. This will level up Houndoom and Ekans. It has to. We can also go check the more of the grass on the left exit as well. That's where I found, like, uh, the Nidorans. If you have Lightning Rod and Earthquake, it would be pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, just have the Lightning Rod user protect. Unless it's a Molga. Oh, Dino sure is a Pokemon, isn't it? Any day now. Oh, Dino looks like it wants to be a plush, but it's not marketable enough for that. It's Gen 5 Chansey. Okay, what'd you get for this Houndoom? Or it, ooh, that's actually a really good level. I'll take it. And... Yes. I have to push A button again. There we go. Okay, let's go to 102. Let's see. Nice. Stretch. I have to stretch because I insulted the cute and huggable thing. 
You don't tell me what to do. I like Teddy Ursus. I'm an expert on cute and huggable things. Okay. Let's go back and give something strength so I can check the other grass there now. Because I think with Electrike, I've caught the best I can get there. We're slowly getting a few levels for the team as we round out the decks. Excellent progress right now. Does Mega Audino change type, or is it still normal? It looks like one of those things that would just become fairy type because it's pink. I don't know if Audino had its type changed, actually. It gains fairy normal. Okay. Anyways, the Pineco is bashful. Skorupi is, um, docile. It has toxic spikes. However, Amolga can just get rid of that. Hmm. You know, I wonder... What level does Drapion happen? Because what if I get rid of Amolga by using the double Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw on Fracture, and then I just throw it Skarupi and do use Toxic Spikes? 40? Oh, that's not happening. Yeah. Impish. Bleh. Let's take these two out and Moonstone them. Hang on a second. Let me take the experience share back from you. Let's do this. Add a few more things to the decks. Where were the moonstones? Were they up here? Do I have one? Yeah, I do. Just one heart scale. Hang on. Moonstones were actually near the beginning of the game, weren't they? There's sunstones. Charon gave them to me. Six moons right here. I'm sure there's a place in the game where you can get multiple more Evo stones, right? Let's update the counter to 103. There we go. Oh boy. Perfect. Now we use another one on you. I feel like the e evolution animations are taking less time than they did in freaking Scarlet and Violet. I mean, to evolve all the starters over and over it took an eternity. There we go. 104. All right, that takes care of two of them right there. Looking at this, it's lonely. Uh, not the worst thing. I feel like it could have better attack at this level, geez. And it has rivalry. And no ground moves unless I teach it to them. There's Dig, but Amolga. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rivalry sucks. Well, let's put him away. Um, anything I can level up that could learn strength right now? I'm trying to look here. I'm trying to look. Buneary could get the Soothe Bell later. I don't suppose Meowth could also learn it. look though let me look there's the starters right there you can also level those up there's timber but we can probably find its evolution like later in the wild anyway so we don't really need to level it <laughs> i feel like that's kind of a waste same with scraggy baby moles hmm Absolutely overthinking it, damn it. Can Sandile learn strength? I mean, I could also just find Krokorok. Like, everywhere, can I? Ugh, oh, I'm trying too hard to think about it. Maybe this thing. Can 
Can macaroni eyebrows learn strength? I hope so. There's no badge requirements in this game. I remember that. Gen 5 just doesn't does do that for some reason. Come on. Yes! Yeah, you don't need headbutt. And I guess I'll just put the experience share... Oh, wait a second. What is it holding? Rossberry, okay. Hardly matters, but it's there. I have sweet scent on that thing. I don't think I really need to use that, no. Gold loop around back to the top. Man, this item pocket is such a mess. Like, why didn't they make a separate pocket just for Pokeballs? Didn't Gen 4 do that? Instead, it's all just shoved together in Gen 5's, like, massively long item list. Oh, hang on. I didn't check its type, is it? It is rock type. Okay. It doesn't benefit from sheer force. It's been buffed by 5 power, too. It would be good for the Emolga, but then I'm stuck with it until I can delete it later. I don't know if I want to do that. I could teach it to Onyx, actually. I wonder if that would be good to let it deal with the Emolga. Rock isn't what I expected for that. You know what I forgot to do? I didn't um, go fishing in Lost Lorn Forest yet. I gotta remember to check that later. 104 right there. Look at us go. I will have my revenge against the gym leader soon enough. But it's clear that she was just take like destroying me earlier. Let's have a look here. Oh. Well, if we catch this. Hmm. Hang on, the experience it gives right now would probably be worth more to me. But I've got neck balls, so we don't need to level up Paris if we can find this. Nice. I got to take one step. Well, I guess we're catching a Viper now. I'm assuming Zangoose is here too. I love how the movement is in sync there. Okay. It's Fire Fang, you. Dragon Claw, you. Onyx got an attack buff in this game. Cool. Nothing a Surviper could really do against her team either. Um. I wonder if I should could just eat a Pokeball at it. It'll work. I hope so. Sorry, where is the shiny charm? I didn't find it in the city. Maybe I get it after I beat her. Okay, let's switch you. Let's see Togekiss's back sprite. We'll damage you a little bit. Togekiss so we can yawn. Okay, I can take one more uh, one more Dragon Rage for sure. Well, I'm poisoned, no big deal. If I'm able to go get the Shiny Charm right now, feel free to tell me, because I'd prefer that. Can't critical hit with Dragon Rage, so we should be fine. It's nice I got Togekiss, but I'm not expecting that to be the make or break for her battle. Another reason I don't want to just keep running back there is I have to go through the roller coaster every single time. It's so annoying. Two. Oh, man. It's about to fall asleep. About to fall asleep. At least the Pokemon in the Dark Grass are much better for training on. 
Let's do it. I don't think I have any Dusk Stones, so I can't get Miss Magius or Hunchcrow yet. I have plenty of things I can use stones on, though. I have Thunderstones, so I could go right to Raichu when I get a Pikachu. Let me see. I can also evolve my uh, Fire Monkey, Water Monkey. I have a Moonstone to use on Muna. I can evolve the nine t er, the Vulpix into Ninetales. Okay, 105. Let's go. Number 105, and don't you forget it. For many generations, it has feuded with Zangoose. It wets its bladed tail on rocks for battle. They really don't like each other. What if they just get along? That'd be nice. I always felt like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire should have had, like, version-exclusive Megas for Zangoose and Sviper. It's also really funny how those two are supposed to be feuding, but they're version exclusive, so they don't even exist in the same universe. Because all roads are connected, I can go anywhere and challenge anyone. That would also make a fun idea for, like, a Mystery Dungeon hack. Imagine a Sviper and a Zangus just have to team up together. It would be like that special episode for Sky. If someone wants to make that fanfic, I'd play it. Let's do it. Incinerate. I really have been wanting to mess around with the uh, the modding tools <clears throat> for um, Explorers of Sky. I've looked at a few mods made with it, and there's really cool ones. Like, there's some of them that are, like, several hours long that I need to make time to do real playthroughs of. Um, I'll let Ursaring... No, wait, no, it's a fighting type. I wouldn't want to do that. Legends Arceus explores why Saviper and Zangus start hating each other. Or wait, no, no, you want a Legends game that mentions that. Oh, okay, I misread you. I'll just try attack. Let's do it. You just got booped by a Togekiss. You, in X and Y, you could have horde battles where, um, with Zangus and Viper, but they would show up in their each other's hordes and attack each other. Oh, that's so cool. Psybeam, no thank you. See, I remember horde battles being a cool thing when I played X and Y, but it didn't feel like they did a whole lot with them, and then they got rid of them after one gen, because, you know, that's what Pokemon does. Okay, 106, Masquerade. There you go. Let's do it. There was SOS battles in Gen 7, and people only remember that because you can make, like, a level level 3 Salomon show up with it. Horde battles were also very laggy on the 3DS. I noticed that in Gen 7, um, especially if you weren't playing on a new 3DS... Um, double battles would lag like hell, so there's no way in hell they could do horror battles for that one. Let me see. Now we can take this away. Payback? Well, that's not gonna help either. Jeez. <clears throat> okay. What else? Come on, what else is here? Sviper again. I'll probably take this thing out for some EXP. I took the XP share off, so... Nice. There we go. 703, not bad. Good training spot. Okay, we've done that. So, since I kind of don't really have a six team member to take in anyway, I might as well just, like, take an Onyx and activate Sandstorm and just, like, spam strength on, um, the Amalga. I don't know. Like... <laughs> 
It's like when I had to bring in, like, the little Iran there against Lenora to spam Mud Slap. It's typing, just let it resist everything she was doing. By the way, one benefit of using strength in this game, once you push the boulder in the hole, you don't need it anymore. That's good. Sandstorm will only last five turns, though, so it should be gone by the time Onyx is gone, I hope. Opium. You can always try again. This is a bold nature with Infiltrator. Okay. We're moving on to box four, everybody. Masquerade has Levitate. Oh, good, everybody. I sure am glad it became Bug Water to get Levitate. <laughs> Uh, I would have preferred Intimidate, but it's not like I was going to use this one anyway. Ooh, ooh. Get out of here, Macaroni Eyebrows. Any more space here? No, it's all full. Okay. Since we caught a bunch of stuff... Hmm, what else could we do... Can I, should I go try and fight her now? Should try and fight her shortly, I'd say. So let's take the Onyx. And you can still do something in this battle. My low tick sure as hell can't. Let's look at the grass on the other side while we get like another level or two on the team. I wonder if I should XP share the, the Onyx though. Do I have a hard stone that might also help? Sturdy. I mean, it has a nature for extra defense, but let's be- look at that special, man. Oh, Onyx. Oh, Onyx. Who is close to leveling? 3,000, 4,000, 2,000, 4,000-ish. I guess I could let Boopy get one level. And then maybe Toke Kiss. Fracture has the Eviolite, by the way. Keep that in mind. Having to use- getting to use the Eviolite will make getting to Haxorus a lot more bearable, because Fracture is actually pretty decent for attacking. It needs that buffs to its defenses, though. Oh, Pika Squirrel. This is a one-and-done Pokemon right here. Maybe I can Dragon Breath. Uh... Oh, it's going to endure. Good, it makes it easier. Yeah, Fracture has good attack for being an unevolved Pokemon, or a not fully evolved Pokemon. The Eviolite will make up for those defenses. Eviolite really is a good thing to just kind of get, isn't it? I'm honestly not sure if the pickup table has been edited. Oof. Okay, 107. Progress, everybody. Progress. Ella Squirrel. A pair may be seen rubbing their cheek pouches together in an effort to share stored electricity. Okay. Imagine a bunch of Pachirisu just, like, rubbing their faces together. Wouldn't that be wholesome? Little squirrels. Trubbish! Well, there's trash here. Imagine Lieutenant Surge's gym, but instead Trubbish pops out. You okay? Are you talking about- wait, are you talking to me? Do I sound sick or something? A little stuffy because it's freezing, but... He's stockpiling. I'm not sure if Garbordor got, like, buffed or anything in this game. Let's catch things. I should spend all my remaining money before I go fight her again, too. We're kind of at the point where we can't really go much up, go anywhere else at the moment. Inhaling the gas they belch will make you sleep for a week. They prefer unsanitary places. Sleep for a week? You mean kill me for a week. Having to inhale New York trash doesn't sound very good. There we go. 
Barbordor doesn't really have moves. Oh, Grimer's here too. By the way, I learned something interesting. Um, you guys know how the Gigantamax Pokemon have like their own shiny forms as well, right? Gigantamax Garbodor has like a bunch of things. Like it has a plane, it has like a boat inside of it. I noticed that even those are different colors. Oh, I got a crit on the shiny form, which is a cool detail. I think it, it's like all the red stuff is blue and all the blue stuff is red on the shiny one. I haven't caught this thing yet. I think I killed it last time. Well, we got it down to that. Critical hits, everybody's getting crits but me. Really wish I could get EXP for catching things. Really, really wish I could. All right, 109. I haven't seen the jelly thing either. It should be here if she's here, though. 109. Excellent. It is satisfying to see the number go up. Their ribbon-like feelers increase their psychic power. They are always staring at something. Big whoop, I have eyes. I do that, too. You ain't special. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, there's the jelly. I just had to ask nicely. Isn't it kind of concerning how these areas just have, like, literal living trash, and then they have psycho alien blobs floating around? You think maybe they could put two and two together? You think maybe we should clean this place up a little bit before it gets worse? Next thing you know, the Garbodors are going to morph into, like, a Resident Evil wet bio weapon. But ironically, I'd love to play a Resident Evil mod that just turns all the monsters into, like, Pokemon skins. That'd be wacky. Solosis. Okay. Now then, 110. New milestone reached. Sick. They drive away attackers by unleashing psychic power. They can use telepathy to talk with others. There we go. Imagine if, like, you're playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, and the liquors are replaced with Lickitung and Licky Licky. Like, imagine, like, you just turn around, you see, like, Licky Licky chasing you down the hall, but it's crawling towards you. Now, that would be pure terrifying. Let's take this out for XP. I've been trying to get to the double battle grass this whole time, but Gen 5 encounter rates are just like, yes. What would Mr. X be a good replacement for? Like, what would you change into Mr. Oh, hey, Tauros. What could you change uh, Mr. X into as a Pokemon to be funny? It's got Intimidate. It's cool. It boosted my attack power, though. If this is a good bull, it might be worth using. Go Lurk, Exeggutor. <laughs> Xerneas. Okay, no. X puns aren't funny. It's got to be something that's got, like, that big physical physique. Oh, it's resting. Damn you. Well, if it fallen asleep, I may as well just go for the Pokeballs while it's sleeping. Machamp? Okay, that would work, but it's... It's extra arms would just kind of flop around in that case. Mr. Mime. <laughs> that would actually fit name-wise and creep-wise, wouldn't it? Grimmsnarl? I, I like that idea, actually. Grimmsnarl would kind of work. Machoke. Well, this isn't really going my way now, is it? I should have bought more, uh, yeah, buy more stuff here. Mr. Mime in a trench coat is not something we need to see. Mr. Mime in a trench coat and fedora would be like, would look like he's in like a noir film, so he would be Mr. Crime. I'll try a Zen headbutt. It's useless to paralyze him because he can just rest out of it now. Made him flinch.
Ah, oh, you jerk. Let's try it again. I'm gonna try and get him down to yellow before I eat another ball. Taurus has like a really bad catch rate, don't it? I mean, it had to back in the Safari Zone days. On the subject of Resident Evil mods, there is one I've been hearing about. I saw that, um, I saw that Bakba Soup was playing it, but I haven't watched yet. There's, like, something called, like, the RE4 Berserker mod that makes the game even really hard, and there's already a Nightmare mod, which is different, too. Thing is, though, I think Capcom really doesn't like people playing mods for recent games, <laughs> so I don't know if I want to risk it. Come on, man, get in the ball. Oh, give me a break. If only I had a damn quick ball. You know what? I'm gonna use a leaf blade and hope it takes him to red. I'm gonna risk it. Oh, nice, it did. Hello, Rizzo, how you doing? Let me see. I'm still gonna be playing some Resident Evil stuff uh, soon, though. I've been very excited. I've been practicing Resident Evil Zero for Sunday. I'm finally gonna do, like, a full, real playthrough of that game for the channel. I've been promising that for frickin' months and haven't gotten to it. Go. Two. Oh, give me a break, man. Get in the ball. Ugh. We literally have him asleep. At nothing there. Hit him with that. Go to red. Okay, good. Good. I'll throw another ball at him. Now get in! Two. Three. There we go. 111. Hi, Cypress. How you doing? There we go. Wild Bull. Once it takes aim at its foe, it makes a headlong charge. It is famous for its violent nature. Let me see. Finally caught that. Was that a spammer? Oh, no. That was just some guy that popped in with lol so random humor and was complaining that I wasn't reading his messages so I just booted him. <laughs> People like that are weird. I don't need them here. We already caught this. Did I catch the base forms of these three? I actually don't know. Zen headbutt. Usually, if someone immediately pops into a chat and is like, why isn't the streamer reading my message? That's a big red flag. That, that person is going to be annoying as hell. What are you doing? Now, is that a bot right there? That, I can't tell. Oh, finally, a double battle. Smeargle! And Mincino. Well then. We're not catching Smeargles now. Catch them. Catch six of them. I don't think I want to catch six of these, no. Hang on. Uh, Smeargle's probably the rare one, so maybe I should kill Mincino first. Let's do this. There we go. He was sketched and it failed. Oh, this is gonna kill him now, isn't it? Yeah, it killed him. Thought the Mincino would be a little more solid than that. Hang on, I don't wanna go all the way back right quick. So let's heal this. And use an antidote on that. Now we run back. Is this Zen head but this? Okay. 
Give him a boop. Hydrate. Don't mind if I do. Five sixty-two. It'd be nice if Boopy could get a level. Oh, there we go. Two. Two. Lickitung's here too. I think it's actually around the level it gets rolled out too. Um, hang on. Zen headbutt you. And just Dragon Rage follow up. I need the Lickitung. There's actually more Pokemon in this route than I was expecting. Roll out Strouts on Elisa. I don't think Lickitung has the power to do that. He's going Slam. I'm gonna switch to Togekiss to get ready to put it to sleep. We're gonna use Dragon Rage and do that. Hang on. Yawn on you. False swipe with you. I'm probably gonna have false swipe on me for the whole game, because I can imagine using, um... Just using, like, a Haxorus to false swipe a lot of things for catching later on. Did the yawn hit? I hope it did. I'm down to eight Great Balls, damn it. Hang on. Can only imagine possibility of unwholesome messages. One reason not to have chat on stream. Now, I know lots of people like having chat on uh, the YouTube upload, but I don't prefer not to do that. Because I find that, like, it just causes too many people to, uh, want it, it just try and post weird stuff to try and get attention. You see here. Most of the time, I can assure you, YouTube, I just, like, ignore, ignore them. There we go. Or I'll just silently take, like, five seconds to, like, ban them without even addressing it verbally. Okay, 112. When it extends its over six foot long tongue, its tail quivers, there's a possibility they are connected. Ooh. I think the mods are just busy, so I just have to take care of it myself. There we go. It's middle of the day Thursday, so... Oh no, chat, I can assure you. I remember when I first started... Ooh, Munchlax. Munchlax is friendship, right? evolve I mean when I first started one of the reasons I have to like uh, stop people from posting links outside of mods is mainly because like when you first start streaming I had people all the time that would just pop into the stream and try to like post links to adult sites because that's that, that's a thing people do so the mods would just ban them right there we go do that. I said I wasn't addressing it. Now I'm addressing stuff from years ago. But I'm just trying to give an example. Hang on. Why? I don't know. It's, it's funny, I guess. If you're, if you're 12. Stockpile. Excellent. I think most streamers have it set up like that. Let's see here. Wait, it's holding leftovers? Bro, I need that. Hand that over. I just realized that. Oh, well, there you are, Yo-Yo. There we go. Chat doesn't really need to share links anyway. That's true. This Munchlax just became even more valuable. Do you think if I give leftovers to the Onyx, it can... No, wait. Uh, focus Blast on Ampharos, but still, that'd be funny. I need this. I should send out the false swiper in the next turn if it doesn't get caught. Chat's posting the link teddy. <laughs> yes, the teddy bear with the sword is uh, technically a link. He is, yeah. Okay, it's still yellow. I'm gonna do this again. Let me see here. You slept through your alarm? Oh, sorry to hear that. That always sucks. I hate when I do that. I managed to wake up early for once. What was I saying before I got distracted by leftovers here? Um, let me see here. Right, people being weird. I remember 
like, uh, gosh, I've been streaming for almost five years. My five-year anniversary is actually coming up, right? I remember during the first year, there was a lot of, like, weird people back in the day that would just kind of show up. You see, when the stream was just kind of starting out. False swipe. And I remember there was one guy that was, like, a bit of an issue for a little bit, and we didn't really understand why. It's been years, so I don't really care that I'm giving this attention now, right? Now, obviously, you guys know, like, I was a YouTuber before I streamed, so obviously, you know, there's people that come to the stream from YouTube very often. Still do. There was one guy that wanted me to do a Pokemon challenge, and, like, he would just keep showing up and making accounts to specifically spam, like, the question- spam messages in chat saying that I should do this particular challenge run for him. And every time, the mods would be like, dude, go away, and they just ban him. And I remember, like, one time, right? Like, most- like, 99% of those, I just completely ignored, and the mods are like, would take care of it. But I remember one particular time, when they got banned, I'm just like, I made fun of them, and just kind of called them an idiot for doing that, and not getting the hints. And then, like, the person made another account, just to, like, start making- like, yelling at me, and being like, you could've just said no, it's like, Really? <laughs> really? Account number, like, 20. Could've just told you no, huh? Clearly. You remember that person? Yes. Oh, he just didn't see my messages. The mods are just being weird. I should just make another one. I think nowadays, Twitch just, like, IP bans you if you do that. <laughs> Yes. Two. Three. Okay, finally, we got the leftovers and Munchlax. Let's go to 113. Finally. And it's desperation to gulp down food. It forgets about the food it has hidden under its fur. Okay, then. Leftovers are a fairly decent item to get. That's nice. You see here. But yes, um, main reason I don't really put chat in the YouTube uploads is, like, people try to be weird thinking they're gonna get in the YouTube upload doing that. I'm gonna use a dragon breath and catch this puppy. And I'm not using it. You can't make me use a Smeargle. I legally do not have to unless it's a Smeargle challenge. There we go. Let me see here. Throw a great ball at him. Volt white six smeargles. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think I want to do that. I'm running out of great balls. I'm gonna have to throw pokeballs at this one. I'm gonna get false swipe out. I need to go back and heal and buy more great balls for sure. Excellent. Yep, no worry. Discord's closed and all that. It's hitting me with Dragon Breath now. Ain't that exciting. Let's see here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I already got it to red. Let's do this. One more Great Ball. Let's eat it. Aw, oh, come on, Smeargle. Of course I had to give him Dragon Breath, too. Excellent. Throw a Pokeball at him. Alright, let's go. Smeargle is paralyzed. It cannot move. Well, throw another one at him. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Anyways, chat, uh, main reason I just brought up the dude making multiple accounts is, is I'm pretty sure the person I just banned a second ago made, an, made a second account. <laughs> 
or something. So I just went ahead and had to bop that too. That's why I was reminded of that. Unless that was someone trying to make a joke. Let me see here. Super effective. Get in the ball, you're Smeargle. You are Smeargle. Okay, finally. 114, let's put this in. Perfect, 114. It marks its territory by using its tail like a paintbrush. There are more than 5,000 different marks. I've seen six different ones. Give a nickname to the caught Smeargle. Let's see here, no. Is there a way to check? Well, if the other person wasn't that, they can just tell me later. <laughs> but... The instant someone gets bopped for doing something, and then another uh, uh, and then another new account pops up doing the same thing... Wait, Shadow Tag? Okay. I'm gonna just assume it's the same person. Do it. Hey, there it goes. I need to go back and heal. My Pokemon are dying. Painfully. Wait, what am I doing? It's down here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Get in there. I've got some things that are new and fun. Kind of. Maybe. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. Restored your Pokemon to full health. Let me go get those leftovers. Where is it? Smeargle has Technician. Bleh. Thick fat. Leftovers. Gimme gimme. And Quiet Intimidate. Brave and gluttony. Eh. Regenerator. That's something. Shadow Tag. Shadow Tag doesn't stop U-turn and Volt Switch, though, right? Leftovers from my low tick? Not in the electric gym, no. That's not gonna do anything. Trubbish is hardy with stench. It has Rock Blast, at least. Where did I put that damn onyx? It's on me, right? Yeah, it is. I haven't really gotten much levels, because catching things doesn't give me anything. I'd probably go take her on again. Hold up. 28? Oh, you're literally one battle away from this, damn. I say I can also just kind of go into the battle and try. Scope lens. Now, leftovers wouldn't really do anything on Togekiss either, because it's a flying type. But what about leftovers on the Onyx? Like, actually, unironically, might work because of Amolga, and I can switch Onyx in to completely wall that one Pokemon for some reason. No, I don't have Stealth Rocks on it. I don't seem to be able to do that. Hang on. I might have to do this. Leftovers Onyx. <laughs> what a plan. I guess I could put the amulet coin on Togekiss if it matters. I did just get that. Yay. How may I help you? I could use some more Great Balls, actually. Yeah, 27. And I don't know, buy two of these, because why not? Some NPCs gave me a stone for that, yeah. That's how I have Togekiss now. The Onyx is level 28. I think I have a feeling that it can do it. <laughs> 
Maybe not, though. I gotta teach it strength, because that'll probably do more than SmackDown. Don't think I see, um... Uh, I don't think I see any ice moves on her, no. Put strength on. Mm, yeah, just get rid of rage. That works. All right, that works. Hold up, I'm just checking the thing here. Okay, looks fine. Onyx learned strength. Now let's get down there. We're gonna go ahead and just try again, because why not? Oops. That's too far down. What am I doing? I was looking at chat, and I just kind of went down. I forgot that she's in the amusement park. I don't think you get effort values for a battle you catch Pokemon in either, right? Oh, right. Let me see. Hit this here. Let me see. Hey. Let me walk on this. Get on that. This is so unnecessary. This is the worst roller coaster ever. You have to, like, ride it for five seconds, then get off of it for another five seconds. Okay, there she is. Make a save in case we get, like, decimated by bad RNG at the start. Let's try again. Saving data. Don't turn it off. Did that fantastic speed leave you dizzy? Hell no. You're going down, girl. Leader Elisa. Now then. Do I want to do Sandstorm? Not so sure about that. I think I should just go raw rock tumor strength for that. Okay, it started with U turn like I thought. Yeah, it's neutral on Onyx. Okay, this is fine. Wow, that took it to half. It's gonna do like signal beam though. So it's not safe to stay in. That surprisingly worked better than I thought. Hmm. Send in Togekiss. Hope it misses the thunder. Energy ball! That's why. That's why. At least we have the switch red. Ancient power. Dude, can you miss one of these? You have compound eyes, that's why. Ah! Oh, disgusting. Well then... How Doom could probably outspeed and finish it then. I hope. Volt switch. Yeah, of course. Can outspeed a spider. Oh boy, it's Mr. Focus Blast. Let's find out if it hits. Okay. Focus Blast, Focus Blast. <sighs> Who to switch into? Hmm. I'm gonna say Boopy. I'm hoping this works out fine. Eight in a row, chat. Eight in a row. Eight in a row. Oh boy. Oh, hold up a second. Playing the damn thing in the background there. 
Hang on a second. There we go. Hang on. You see. I think that other thing was just a parody. I'm just checking that now. Hold up, and now Twitch has accidentally been closed. Hang on. Streamer has to unprofessionally load Twitch back up again. I'm still live. <laughs> I'm just loading the thing in. Alrighty. Back in. No problem. He hit the focus blast, and I'm gonna hit him. I had a feeling I just wanted to check. Like, I thought that second person I banned was just someone trying to parody the first one. Let me see. But they used the name of an already existing chat member, so I don't know. Oh, nice. Killed. Eh, not nice. Just trying to make sure I didn't, like, get anybody innocent there. Chat understands. Nice. Let's see. Coil? No, 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 no. Keep old moves. Give up on Coil. Yes, because we have Contrary. Careful when you comedy. Gavantula's coming back out. Um, it has Signal Beam for me. It's gonna Volt Switch. Hmm. I could probably finish it with Fracture. Do I go for a single Dragon Dance first? Because it's probably going to hit me once. It's probably going to go for the Switch, yeah, so I think maybe I should. I'll try it. Happened earlier. Some guy showed up, started spamming weird messages, and was complaining I wasn't reading their messages, so I just kicked them. Because it was cringe. Signal Beam, that's all it's got. Nice. Okay, we're at plus one. This should be enough to kill. Excellent. Critical hit. 560. Okay, Raichu is also going to have Focus Blast, but I am at plus one. Maybe I can outspeed him and just hit him hard. Raichu isn't exactly a defender here, so this might work. Excellent. Perfect. This is actually going really well now. Oh, a Molga, huh? Let's see here. Hmm. Now we send Onyx back out, and we should be fine. Onyx unironically helping here. I actually don't know if the Raichu has Surf or not. Um, is it gonna U-turn? Yes, it is. Amolga's basically forced to, like, switch out. And they can take a stab rock move, I guess. Oh, we haven't made- we haven't seen this thing yet. I don't know what moves this is gonna have, though. Hmm. Boopy's pretty much as good as done anyway, so I'm gonna switch it in and see to scout its moves. I wanna find out. Okay. Oh, pardon me. Double kick? That's all it has for Onyx? Wow. Um, I could hope for the critical hit Leaf Blade. Leaf Seed is useless because it'll just switch. Flame charge is a problem though, yeah. Boopy is paralyzed, damn it. Okay. Just once. What? It has Sap Zipper? <laughs> what? Oh, that's that's bad. Well, what a terrible way to have to learn this. And now it's at attack is plus one. Oh, that's bad. It is going to slaughter everything that comes out now, isn't it? It's fast, scary, and going to kill me. <laughs> now 
Yeah, it's prob- it's double kick is powered up now, so it is gonna kill my- my low-leveled Onyx. Hmm. But we have a decent idea of what to do now, that's for sure. Great. Probably take one hit with Ursa Ring and just hit it with one Hail Mary here. Let's do it. Will I go- if I go underground, it's just gonna switch back to, um... It's just gonna switch back to Amolga. I need to get the Critical Stab Slash. Let's do it. Wild Charge. Oh, fantastic. This might be what I need. Hang on. <sighs> no! Is she gonna waste time healing with the potion? Nope. Well, this is bad. Oh, man. She's gonna go for double kick. Can Onyx finish it off? Because Fracture needs to stay alive. Crap. Houndoom can't take a hit, especially when its speed and attack is so buffed. Sap Sipper is the hidden ability of this thing? I didn't even know. At least Fracture can resist each one. I might have to rely on Fracture here. Let's do it. Come on, Eviolate, work your magic. <laughs> yeah. Even if I Dragon Dance, it's already too fast to outspeed. I need a good crit or a good hits. Nice. Best it can do is Wild Charge me. This is good. It'll take Recoil and die. Oh, not enough. Come on. Oh, come on! This'll take you out, too. This'll take you out. You're down. We still have Manetric and Amolga left, though. It is going to U-turn. All I got left is these. All I got left is these. Oh boy. At least I know what the Zeb Striker can do now. It's going U-turn. I don't know what the Manetra can do. I know it has static, that's for sure. Can Manetric have access to Grass Knot or Energy Ball? It had a track, that's right. It's gonna try and do that to Onyx, and... Damn it, we're all guys. Everyone on this team is a guy. It's gonna do that first. Can do another one. No, it has Flamethrower. Okay. Well then. Now I know I should switch into Houndoom in this situation. Snarl's my best bet because I have black glasses. And it'll lower your special attack. Let's go, let's go. Never mind. Come on. We got this. Damn it, we've pretty much lost, haven't we? Yep. We sure as hell came close though, didn't we? Go get a couple levels and come back and slaughter her. She's gonna outspeed me, finish off my fracture. We know that Onyx is the right play, though. Maybe I should give it the EXP share and give it a couple levels. Man, she is, like, rude. The main thing that tripped me up was Sap Sipper on the Zeb Strika. If I knew it would have had that, I wouldn't have wasted that turn. I probably could have taken it out. 
I would have went for Dragon Breath to try and paralyze it or something. That went way better than last time, though, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna take this. Health check, hold up a second. Streamer will stretch. Streamer is a good woman. Let me see. Where is other experience share? Did I leave one in the PC? No, I didn't, good. Ooh, all right, I'm good. Boopy's about to level up, wasn't it? Nope, 3,000. Let Togekiss get a level, because I feel like one would help it immensely. Chat will behave. Don't worry, you go get cat er, food for your cat. Let me see here. Chat, that's the main reason I try to keep weirdos out. Because um, I know it's just uncomfortable for everybody in chat. <laughs> Not just me. When someone shows up trying to be a freaking weirdo. And YouTube doesn't want to doesn't really want to see it too. Let me see. Let's see. Gothita. Don't be a bad woman. Try attack you. I want to get back over to the go. Uh, yeah, not the ghost. Uh, the grass on the other side. Wild Gothita appears. YouTube doesn't see them, they just hear about them if they're bad enough. Yeah, fair enough. Sometimes I have to hold the restraint. Uh, restraint. Sometimes there's just a story so funny, you gotta tell people. There we go. I'm gonna run. It's Gothita, it's not worth it. Onyx can probably get, like, at least one level. I would hope, anyway. Okay, good doubles. Oh, there's Rufflet. No one's evolved for a little bit, so we should be okay. Okay, let's try attack. Actually, you know what? Hang on. We will use Yawn on Rufflet, and we will Dragon Claw on Nidorina. Yeah, Nidorina. Ready to help? Yeah, you fall asleep, little birdie. Okay, now we're gonna use Try Attack on you, and you're gonna False Swipe the little bird. I believe the level requirements were lowered for Mandibuzz and Braviary, but I don't fully remember what to what they actually were. Onyx hit 29. Ooh, plus four defense. Take that. Pretty much all it gets right there. How? What is Onyx's base speed versus um? Eh, versus Amolga. That's what I'm trying to say. Great balls up top. If Teddy Ursa had little wings, he'd probably be a fairy type. No, no, he'd be a berry type. But he'd probably just be normal flying. Instead of ground, normal, and final evo. Hold up a sec. New Pokemon acquired. We're going down to 115. Do that. They crush berries with their talons. They bravely stand up to any opponent, no matter how strong it is. Not true. Send it to the PC. Onyx is slow. I thought it was fast. People were saying it was fast earlier. Okay, I need Mencino. I have a shiny stone to get its Evo done. Okay, try attack you. You know with that? Yeah, Onyx is really fast. Its main whole thing is that it has physical defense and speed. We laugh about how weak its attack and special uh, stats are, but in Gen 1, it literally had the highest defense out of any Pokemon in the game. The whole point of it was to be a physical wall, specifically to teach you at the first gym to use special moves. You see. 
It's a really bad Pokemon, though. Steelix is basically what it needed. Except no one ever uses Steelix because you have to trade Evo it. Except in Diamond and Pearl where you can find Steelix in the wild. That's pretty much the only way you're mainly getting those. I'll just use Wish. I'll swipe you. Steelix is better, but not that great. I believe in Gen 2, Steelix had the highest base defense, and then in Gen 3, uh, it was Deoxys defense form that took that. But really, Deoxys forms are kind of cheating when you're talking about the highest stat, because that's literally the whole point of them. Wait, what? A Chesto Berry. Of course you have a Chesto Berry, you little jerk. There we go. It was Shuckle in Gen 2? Oh, okay. I kind of forget about Shuckle. Get healed. Wish came true. Pretty sure I just used Yawn. Let's do this. And then you play Yellow version where Pikachu can't do anything to Brock, so you just have to catch Pokemon with Low Kick or Double Kick. Or a Butterfree with Cap Confusion. They uh, they greet one another by rubbing each other with their tails, which are always kept well groomed and cleaned. All right, one sixteen. Hell yes! Look at how many little teddies we've been catching today. No, no, no! I went down to no game. I hate when it does that. Have I caught everything here yet? I think I pretty much have. There's going on journey. Journey across Hyrule. Do it. Right now I'm just getting like a little extra EXP. We actually we actually were close to beating her this time, but her team's annoying. Maybe let the Onyx get to level 30. I can't believe I'm unironically using an Onyx, by the way. There we go. Back and forth. I already caught you, chumps. Let's take him out, boys. Fracture does a good job of, like, actually walling, um... Yeah, walling Zeb Strika, so maybe I should save it for that. Oh, wait, hang on. Ancient Power you. Dragon Claw you. See, that's the thing. I tried Dragon Dance last time against a Molga, right? Uh, because it goes acrobatics on Fracture. Two Dragon Dances, and I still can't one shot it, so if I get like one more level, I should be able to consistently kill a Molga right away. And then maybe, at plus two attack and speed, I can kill everything else. But the problem is, you know what's gonna happen? If I can't one-shot Manetric, it's gonna use Attract. If I can't one-shot Ampharos, it's gonna use Focus Blast. And that's why I'm kind of worried about that. Hmm. So, not only do I need to be strong enough to one-shot Amolga, I have to be able to one-shot Dragon Claw those things as well. Here we go. Disable. Oh, you would do that, you little jerk. I'm running out of PP here. Problem with Togekiss is that it's weak to electricity. It might be able to tank a move here and there. But at the same time, starting with Onyx is okay. Actually, you know what I could do? Maybe what I could do is save Fracture for, um, Zeb Strika, and I could, could at least, like, I could maybe get two Dragon Dances in against it, because it's gonna go for Wild Charge against me, and it'll take a little bit of recoil, and then I could probably one-shot it, and then slaughter whatever's left of the team by then, I hope. 159, 204. I took one step, let the record show. I already got leftovers from the Munchlax. That was handy. 
I want to say leftovers would be good on Fracture, but right now I have the Eviolite, so leftovers aren't... I'm getting more health with the Eviolite, I'd say. Let's make sure we kill something. You are down. Damn, Mincino gives nothing. Ooh, crit, and it paralyzed. Wish I was trying to catch this one before. And more leftovers. Do you think I should just catch this so I have a second leftovers? I mean, it's it's red at paralysis. It's, it's, it's sitting right there for me, man. Come on. Could give leftovers to something. I might need double leftovers in future battles. Let's do it. One, two, three. Come on, man. Chip away. Great. Let's hit it with a false swipe. Let me go. Getting down to red. Throw another great ball. I'm gonna mash A. It's gonna catch it. Come on! What is Munchlax's problem, man? Munchlax, you are such a little gremlin, I swear. Go for it. If only I could wish for my partner. I want the leftovers, Mr. Munch. Hand them over. Too bad I don't have Thief on me at the moment. Okay, second useless apple core acquired. Don't really need it for this upcoming fight, though. Actually, do you think? Nah. Should I put it on Boopy? Boopy has the Miracle Seed to buff Leaf Blade, but I can't really use Leaf Blade because Sap Sipper. hit them. It's only a 10% buff in Gen 5, right? Or is it 20% now? I can't remember. I have Leech Seed, but they, this team switches. There's not really a point to using Leech Seed. Ooh, they missed. Get in there, Fracture. I don't have any candies to use, either. Okay. I think we should go heal and go to the other other dark grass on the other side. Shade of green on the dark grass is different, because it went to summer since I last played the last episode. I started the playthrough in the middle of the month, and then it rolled over. This is actually going to be a long playthrough. I wonder how many how many seasons we're going to go through. That's actually an interesting question. I think we'll get to see all four, right? For sure. No way in hell I'm, I'm catching that many Pokemon that quickly. I mean, I probably could push myself if I just streamed this, but I'd be bored doing that, right? If I want to continue a game series, it needs to be something like fun I'm in the mood for to turn on. See. No, I plan on playing the X and Y uh, mods as well. Same with ones for Sun and Moon, eventually. Okay, let's check in here. 
Stunky. Okay, we haven't seen this here yet. I guess we may as well grab it. Will it live a try attack? Let's find out. Ooh! Wait, it has toxic? Don't get too excited. It's not taking a hit in that battle. One, two, three. Oh, number 117. Damn. This is probably the most amount of Pokemon caught in one episode, because I've been evolving the random stuff in the PC as well. It sprays a foul fluid from its rear. Its stench spreads over a mile radius, driving Pokemon away. Is Per Ugly and Skunk Tank the same level for Evos? I don't actually know. Possibly Stunk Tank could be cool. 34? Yeah. Oh, there's the Goose! Zang Goose looks so cool, but it's such a mid Pokemon like Saviper. Like, both Saviper and Zangoose look like they should do something really cool, but they don't. Oh, I killed it. I thought maybe it'd live. Oh well. Her ugly happens at level 38. Okay. Rock polish? Nah, you don't need that. If I could learn Stealth Rock, I'd love that. Shiny Saviper was a beast in the Egglock. Yes, it was, but it also had, like, godlike moves. Because the person who submitted it gave it good like moves. Alright, well, I guess we need the Glammeow. We're gonna use Try Attack on Stunky. False Swipe on you. So Viper got its own building in the Battle Frontier. You know what would be a really funny idea for a mod? Imagine, like, someone that involves, like, Lucy in the plot of, like, their Pokemon Emerald mod, right? And they introduce, like, uh, another character that's themed around Zangoose that's just, like, her rival. That'd be funny. That'd be very funny. Let me see here. Use Yawn on you. This is a good combo for catching in these doubles, I have to say. I still like the idea of doing the Battle Frontier on stream sometime, but the viewers get to submit Pokemon like they did for the Egglock. And then I pick a team of three at random and have to roll with it. I think that would be really, really fun. Whenever we can make it happen. Two. Three. Come on. Well. Gotta wait for it to uh, fall asleep. There we go. Hmm. Whose job do you think it was to make sure all 649 Pokemon have a sleeping animation? They had to edit- they probably had to edit every single frame to close the eyes of every Pokemon. What a job that must have been. You see. 118, there we go. Caddy Pokemon. Caddy or cat? It hides its spiteful tendency of hooking its claws into the nose of its trainer if it isn't fed. Oh, that sounds painful. Ow. Ow. You see here. Wait, what are you doing? What's that prediction? Will the streamer beat the gym next time? Oh, I see how it is. Doubting me, huh? Why are people betting all in one? Are they betting on yes or no? I can't tell. Chad isn't laid out in a way where I can see. Is chat believing in me or doubting me? Several people are betting on yes, and like one person, it, you know, a couple people are putting on no. What's your problem? Hey, what's your problem? You see, Togekiss finally got a level. That's good. Okay, we caught some Mons. Houndoom could probably get a level before we go back in. Who knows? People are betting thousands of Teddy tokens. 
There's over half a million Teddy tokens bet on yes right now. I can't let you down. I haven't caught the Zangoose. We can just go ahead and incinerate. And false swipe the Zangoose here. I can see symbols next to chat members' names. I know which one of which which ones of you are uh, betting on no. That's right, I see you. If you have a two next to your username, you're betting on no. You all must be Kleffas. If I lose, the value of Teddy tokens will go up. Oh no. You're right. I uh, can't really do anything here. We'll shift you. There's almost a million tokens bet on yes now. And like 150k on no. Oh boy. Let's see. Okay, we need to get a yawn in. Do this. Let's do it. You got a crit? And now we do this. Throw a great ball at him. Come on, broke free. Okay, finally, it's sleeping. I made music for low health beep and then never again. One, two, three. The goose is ours. Let's get it in here then. 119. Now that is some damn good progress today. A cat ferret. What? I thought it was a mongoose. It is feuded with Sviper for many generations. Its sharp claws are its biggest weapon. What, what, what do you mean, cat ferret? Was it not a mongoose this whole time? Is that what a cat ferret is? I feel lied to. Let's throw it in the box. Now, Houndoom, can you level up? That'd be very cool. Oh, Queen's here. God damn it. We're running out of Great Balls. I don't have time for this. Alrighty. Incinerate. There is over a million Teddy tokens on Yes now. I want the EXP. I want to get back in the fight. Should check on Onyx. It might be close to another level, which it probably needs. Onyx was tanking uh, damage like a champ there, though. In the past two levels, it's basically gained, like, seven defense. Okay, let's take it out. Incinerate to eliminate. God, I can't wait until I get Flamethrower. Really cannot wait until I get Flamethrower, because you having to use Incinerate as my main special fire move is kind of, like, pathetic. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Now I gotta heal this. I got one antidote left. It's on you. Flamethrower needs to happen sometime soon, I can tell you that. Oh, the giraffe rig's here. Well, damn. Another Pokemon I probably should just catch right now. This is probably a rare encounter, too, because I've been here, like, all day, and this is the first one. Okay, we'll incinerate. And then we'll false swipe you. It's better than Ember, yeah, but 
Damn, do I wish I had more to work with. Yep, there goes you. This is fine. Acid spray. Ow. Special defense harshly fell. Okay. Um, Fire Fang to finish off Stunky. And a Yawn for the Giraffe. Aftermath. Ow. Will this be enough? Hell no. At least... Yeah, I can't get hit by a Psychic move on Houndoom. That's good. Okay, we used Yawn. I can't really damage it anymore. This is probably going to be the last thing I catch right now until I finally beat this damn gym. Dude, I'm getting close to have, like, added 40 dex entries today. Can easily make that if I take a few more things out of the PC as well. I told you we were going to go far today. Super far. Alrighty, nice. Has Giraffe Rig also been bo uh, buffed at all in this game? Let me see here. 120. Long neck. The head on its tail contains a small brain. It can instinctively fight even while facing backwards. Well, we caught it, all right. Oh, what am I doing? I tried to, like, autopilot back while looking at chat. <laughs> at least Giraffe Rig finally got an evolution. Good for the giraffe. Good for it. You kind of needed one. A lot of random Pokemon kind of got a well-deserved evolution. Like Annihilate. That one's cool. Now, I just realized something, though. We had to go back and heal, but, um, Houndoom is still close to that damn level up it needs. Yep, 326. And Onyx is... Okay, Onyx is about to level up, too. We need Onyx, I'd say. I think it's safe to try and set up with Dragon Dance when it comes down to Zebstrika. This battle is so annoying, man. Like... When I was stuck on Berg, what made that really obnoxious was that I didn't really have anywhere to go train anymore, right? Pinwheel Forest was too underleveled to really do anything. Uh, we don't need to fish right now. At least in... What the hell is Slugma doing here? <laughs> Damn it! Are you also rare? I don't care, I'm taking you out. I've caught enough stuff right now. You live this, maybe. Nope, you're dead. Slugma didn't even give anything. Double the goose! Or sorry, the cat ferrets are loose. Probably just take them both out. Look at them do a little dance. Bopping up and down. Incinerate. After we intimidate. And then we eliminate. Ugh. What was I saying? Yeah, at least in the case of, um... Being stuck on her. There's plenty of places I can train my Pokemon. But I, after, even after exhausting all the trainers, she is still kicking my ass. Also, five to defense. I'll take it. Like, she's absolutely slaughtering me right now, which pisses me off. Go. Also, for the record, the Ampharos is still on an 8 Focus Blast streak. It still hasn't missed me once. Once, chat. Okay, Houndoom levels up. I'll take it. Houndoom's not a tank. Best we can hope for is good special attack and speed. Damn, I haven't hit over 100 with a special attack yet. Decently close, though. Okay. Oopsie. 
We're gonna go try her again. We got a few levels. We added to the decks more. Onyx can take more of a hit now, which is pretty important for Emolga. We need to take away the EXP share for Leftovers again. I can't believe Leftovers Onyx is what it comes down to. And any other held items? I guess I can... I mean, I have the Amulet Coin on you. Let's see. I can put the other Leftovers I just got on that. Eviolite the Onyx? I'm not so sure about that. I need the Eviolite on Fracture, because Fracture dies too easily otherwise. I was tanking those wild charges like a champ for that. Especially since my own starter can't, like, take out a race Pokemon. What items do these things have? Toxic Boost. On Tempo. Um... Okay, take its leftovers. Timid, Technician. Isn't that really good for this, actually? Or is it Jolly at once? I never remember. I always confuse the two, I think. Sheer Force. Jolly is what it wants, okay. Yeah, I accidentally buffed the Zeb Strika because I didn't realize it would have Sap Zipper. I went for Leaf Blade on it. So Togekiss just has an amulet coin. We're gonna go ahead and give it leftovers, which probably won't make a difference because it dies to one thunder anyway. Okay, let's have a look, everybody. I need to heal. Fracture is injured. Damn, being a dragon, especially a middle evolution dragon, it takes forever to level up to. Ugh. Last time I was close, and now I'm a higher level and not activating Sap Sifter. Hopefully it should work. Let's do it. We're gonna get in there. I'm hoping that, like, maybe some... something... Togekiss, yeah, Togekiss can tank. Be nice. Hang on. Did I make sure I... Yeah, we're all healed up. Onyx is leading because it forces that thing to go in there. Hang on. So we know what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is that it's gonna start with Amolga. It's gonna switch to Gavantula, which is super takes super effective damage from Rock Strength. There we go. Actually, no, it's too risky to go for Rock Tomb, I think. Because that always misses when I needed it to hit. I don't think the drop is even guaranteed. Okay, let me drink here. Ugh, there, I took a drink. Don't worry. We got it. At least taking a break to fill the Pokedex is a nice um, way to unwind instead of banging my head against a wall over and over. Because Berg was upsetting me. I was running out of things to catch with Berg, because I went to the Pinwheel Forest and just found starters. Drop is guaranteed. Yeah, but I think it's better to go for Strength, because I took it down to, like, half health before. But it goes for Energy Ball. That's why it switches to that. Let's do it. So, it actually works well to start with Onix and go for a Rock move. If I could get a critical hit and take out the Gavantula, that would be amazing. Not so sure that's gonna happen, though. Okay. Get out your Hopium, everyone. See if I can win this time. Gotta make Dex progress sooner or later. Doing it while we're stuck in a battle here helps. I feel embarrassed to have to send out an Onyx. I know that's really mean to say to Onyx, but it's true. Okay, here comes your turn. Send out the Gavantula. Ooh, taking more hits there. Good. Galvantula. Okay, I took it to half again. It's gonna go for Energy Ball. Hmm... I wonder if I should take this... Hang on, we know that it Volt Switches, right? 
Maybe it's a good idea to switch to Fracture now and use a Dragon Dance. Then it'll probably be guaranteed to die, and I can sweep whatever comes out. What, what does it do that? It goes into Ampharos, that's right. That's right. Um... I tried last time going in the Togekiss, and then it hit me with Thunder and killed it one hit. So I lost Togekiss that way. Hmm... I'm going into an energy ball with this. Houndoom, I'm, I know can't outspeed it unless that one level made the difference. I'm gonna try. It went signal beam this time? Oh, did you read the switch, you little jerk? Well then. Well then. You were supposed to use Energy Ball. You were supposed to use Energy Ball. You were supposed to use Energy Ball! There goes my Fracture, pretty much. Okay, Ampharos is coming out. It's gonna miss. It's gonna miss. It's not going to hit me nine times in a row. It's not gonna hit me nine times in a row. It's not gonna hit me nine times in a row. Oh, yeah. It hit me nine times in a row. Fantastic. When will it be enough for you, Elisa? When will it be enough? Okay. She's probably gonna go for a Hyper Potion. Maybe I should just use Togekiss and try attack. Boopy is gonna get hit by a signal beam there anyway. Yep, yeah, there it is. I hope you choke on whatever this gives you. Yes. You're burned? So I could take the chance to do something funny right here, if I get this. Because this won't kill, you're gonna get a turn on me anyway. So if I get the buff from this... Nope. It's going Cotton Guard. Is she gonna potion again? Well, let's finish you then. maybe she'd do a potion. Guess not. Here comes Minetric. We know that Minetric has Flamethrower, Volt Switch, and Attract. It's probably gonna go for Attract on me first, so I'm better off trying to hit it with Tri-Attack to status it so I can stop this. Hmm. Focus Blast nine times in a row is like a 2.8% chance. Or more like a 4% chance, sorry. Okay. Really? Really, huh? <laughs> Go for the try attack. Okay, it's using Volt Switch. I hope whatever comes out eats this. Come on. Raichu. Come on, try attack. Work with Serene Grace. Work, work, work. Oh, I got a burn. It's probably gonna go for thunder. Hmm. Again, I have the chance to do something really funny. But I don't know, think I'd outspeed it, though. Yes, it missed! No number 10. Screw you. Goodbye. It took 10 Focus Blasts, but it happened. The miss happened, chat. We're cooking. Leftovers, bring me out. Okay, here comes Minetric. I know I can take another Volt Switch, so I'm gonna go for it again. No, it's gonna Thunderbolt instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what has more power? 
Damn it. Okay, so we know it has attract and all those special moves. Wait, all it can do to Onyx is flamethrower. And, well, flamethrower and attract. Hmm. Hmm. Problem is, Onyx's special is so low that it does kind of mess me up. It's gonna hurt me hard anyway, yeah, because he has high special. And maybe I should just go Ursa Ring Slash right now. Uh... Houndoom's fragile. And what can it really do? Actually, Houndoom might be what I need right now, actually. Hmm. It's gonna have to do stab electric. And if it hits with static. Yeah, that's right. I can proc static with everything except my special moves. Damn it! This Houndoom, or sorry, this Minetrix annoying. I'm gonna do this. Okay, it's Volt switching. Didn't do too much. Amolga. It's gonna go Acrobatics. Nice. Which means it's now safe to switch into Onyx. Roost? Oh, you little jerk. Really now? Okay. Okay. Fine then. Fine then. Okay, we know we don't need to hit Gavantula anymore. If I use Rock Tomb, whatever comes out is gonna have a speed drop, which could make or break the next switch. I'm gonna try this. U-turn. What's coming out? Okay, it's Zeb Strika. Your speed fell. Hang on, all it can do is double kick me. Can I take that? Or would it be worth it to switch into something else? No. Because it could just flame charge on Boopy until it's fast as hell again, right? It's gonna hyper potion. I can't one shot it. Do I stay in? Hmm. Sandstorm might do more to it too, but she's gonna heal anyway. I'm just gonna try it. Okay. It hurts a little bit. Leftovers kick in. Oh my god, that only restored that much. Well then. Now one more turn. Oh no. Are you serious? It looked like it did more that time. Well, that sucked. Great. Okay. Hmm. Might need to go for Dragon Rage. Sorry, Dragon Breath. Can't seed it, can't blade it. Hmm, I didn't put the other leftovers on Boopy. I could have done that, maybe. If I can paralyze it, that'll also work. Zursa Ring isn't gonna be able to do much in this fight either. Unless it gets like a crit, cause she's, had, she's gonna use a Hyper Potion on it. So getting like a crit stab on it, it's not gonna do much. I need to like hit it with something. I outspeed you. Citrus Berry as well, I forgot about that. Here comes the flame charge. This is gonna put her speed at neutral. Sandstorm will chip me, but I'm fine with that. I just need to paralyze it. And now it's going wild charge, of course. Weird that it did that, but okay. Okay, I paralyzed it. Good, 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 good. 
Just got Hyper Potions, not Full Restores. Now I have a chance of making it flinch with Zen Headbutt. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Oh, the Sandstorm's gonna kill her. No, it faded. It faded. Oh, disgusting. And Zen Headbutt missed. Wait, what? She didn't use a Hyper Potion? Oh my god. Can, can we finish her off, please? Can we finish her off, please? Jesus. Can't have anything in this damn battle. Can't have nothing in Unova. Amolga. If only I had a Pokemon for that. It's gonna acrobatics me, and that's gonna hurt. Hmm. I pretty much have to use Ursa Ring for this one, don't I? Annoying. Slash. It's going U-turn. Okay, it's bringing out the Manetric then. This is fine. I hope I get a crit, you jerk. Oh, yeah, deserved. Oh, yeah, whatever. Hang on, I killed Givangela Zepstrike. Uh... Uh, Raichu, Ampharos, and Manetric now. This is the last one. This is the last one, everybody. I'm going to send in Houndoom to intimidate it now. Let's do it. Can I survive an acrobatics at this? I don't actually know. I feel like I should switch out. It's going to roost as well, so I should weaken it. So I'll switch into that, and they'll switch to Ursa Ring. Because Houndoom has, like, piss-poor... <clears throat> piss-poor uh, defenses there. Should be able to take another one. Go for it, bro. Wild Charge! I'm paralyzed. I can't move. Of course. Of course. Of course. Snarl what? It's a physical attacker. I don't think you realize. Okay. Come on. But I need to do that anyway. This is my strongest attack. Okay, you're at minus two attack. Please, please, please let this kill you. Go, 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 go. So it doesn't have Volt Switch this whole time. This is gonna take you out. You're gone. I win. I win. No! Kill, 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 kill. Kill, I win! Teddy's win! I got excited there. Yay! I won the bet. All the people, the millions of Teddy tokens that were bet on my victory win. Holy moly. That was terrible. Oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me, I, uh... Oh, here. I want you to have this. It only took two and a half damn hours. <laughs> Get that final result in there. How many people said no? I see... I Yeah, I see the twos next to your name. I see you people that bet against me. I didn't even have to use items in battle. Chat is filled with cheering Teddy Ursa emotes right now. Bolt badge from Elisa. If you have four badges, including the Bolt Badge, Pokemon Level 50, including Traded Mons, we'll, yeah, we'll obey you. Here's this move I like. Feel free to use it if you want. Wild Charge. Okay. Wild Charge is a powerful physical move, but it will cause damage to the user. You'd be surprised at how many Pokemon can use that TM. It was 1 million Teddy tokens on yes, and 159k on no. Well then. Enjoy your losses, non-believers. You're going to Driftvale next. Of course there's a gym there, after all. Oh, I bet you won't be able to get there. You know what? I'll fix it so you can cross. Wait for me at Route 5. Holy crap, that was a battle, all right. Can Ursaring learn Wild Charge? 
I don't think it's uh, recoil will be cut for sheer force, right? Pretty sure it doesn't. We went over this last time, but I don't remember at all. All right, let's go heal. It's fantastic. Maybe I could put my low tick on the team again, because I can actually get Scald soon. That Onyx unironically served me well. Time to box it forever. Let me see. No, 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 don't release it. <laughs> I, want, I just wanted to take its item away. I mean, I'm not that mean. Hang on, you know what? While we're in the boxes, let's go ahead and stone another Pokemon for the decks. Because I got shiny stones for this one. Wild Charge doesn't paralyze, so Sheer Force won't do anything with it. Damn. Unfortunate. Here you go, Mincino. Scald Milotic is going to be needed for Clay, probably. I don't think he's a Guts player. 121 for the new one. Save the game in a second, don't worry. It's extra fluffy now. Unless he has Storm Drain, Gastrodon, or some crap. <laughs> yeah, they could. That would not shock me, given how this game's been going. I want to say that once we get to Drift Vale, we should be okay to fight anything. Let's make a save. How is it that Flare Blitz is 120 power and gets the burn chance, but Wild Charge is 90 power with no extra effect? Good question. They should, like, be the same thing, but a different type, right? Alrighty. I updated the decks for Cincino there. So put you there. Everyone's been getting so strong, so we're gonna go ahead and get my low tech out now. Level 30 has some catching up to do. Pretty embarrassing how my low tech didn't have any moves this whole damn time. Yeah, this is nice. I think I could put Ursa Ring up front. I need to <laughs> heal them still. That was a battle well-deserved, like a well-deserved victory of that battle. That's what I'm trying to say. I can talk. And I didn't even really need to use Dig in it. The problem is the Emolga comes out first, and then it, like, disappears on you. Specifically, it specifically does that so that you can't spam Dig against your team. Because if you ever use Dig, her she'll just switch back to the Emolga and eat the turn. Oh, Clay is going to be fun. I'm sure he will be tons of fun. We're, we're not getting to him today, though, I can tell you that. we got to go through the cold storage and all that, so that's some more training. Um... Yeah, the team is coming together. We just need to evolve Fracture to Haxorus. I doubt we're going to have Haxorus by the time we get we actually need to beat Clay. So we'll do this. Let's do it. If he does have a Gastrodon or something, that's what we're going to use Leaf Blade on. No problem. Skulls coming up. What else was also in Drift Vale, right? Wasn't there an item I needed there? Yeah, whatever. We spent time catching a lot of Pokemon. It was pretty nice. We had 80-something at the start of this episode, and now we're at 121. That's like, damn, almost a 50% increase. Oh, oh, you want to fight? You got the bolt badge, I got a bolt badge. Man, I don't remember this. Let's test who's stronger. You or me? This time I'm gonna win. I, uh, didn't think about this. Should have spent my money. Okay, no rotation. Single. All right, then. And he's one level higher. He didn't have Intimidate. He's gonna close combat me, though, isn't he? I was not prepared for this, I have to say. Do I just eat it and go? I 
might need to, sadly. He's going Aerial Ace, okay. He's got Reckless, doesn't he? Okay, I got the crit. Oh, did we speed tie? Well, that works for me. Here comes Gigalith. If only I had a water type for that. Um, we could just use Boopy. Since my special moves are rock and normal and fire. Hmm. Yeah, Boopy's probably the best bet here. I still got the Miracle Seed, so this got to do good damage regardless. Okay, that's better than I thought. This is basically free. Man, I know that Superior is going to be an absolute god later, but I feel like my starter has been really weak throughout this most of this playthrough so far. The game just keeps kind of screwing over Snivy players, but when you get that Leaf Storm Contrary, it's like, well... They'll pay. Ooh, four special attack. I'll take it. Embor. Yeah, we know that was coming. Embor is fire ground in this. <sighs> Would it be worth it to just go for the Aqua Tail? Probably, because it's double effective, I'd say. All right, my low tech, get, make yourself useful. I'll need Scald later for him, that's for sure. Let's do it. Sucker Punch. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead. 90% chat. 90% chance. 90% chance. He could go for Sucker Punch again and I can heal it. I'll try that. Look like he is. Assurance. Okay, I'm safe to take a Sucker Punch. Good. Yeah, he has adaptability as well. Citrus Berry, no problem. Heat Crash. Uh-oh. Better off using Recover. Ooh, so sorry. Took 10 Focus Blasts before one missed, but only one Aqua Tail for me to miss. <laughs> Welcome to me playing Pokemon, everybody. Haven't seen Earthquake yet. Two Dark Moves. Maybe he has Dark Moves to punish people that still think he's part fighting. I don't know. Okay, that was excellent. I can't knock Aqua Tail. Actually, I can because it missed at 90 again. See me, Sage. Okay. Hmm. I always forget he's got that one. I guess I could send in Houndoom for this. I don't remember what its other moves are outside of Seed Bomb. Let's do it. Intimidate's good for it. Can I two-shot him with this? Ooh, nice. That did more than I thought it would. Wow, he really can only use Seed Bomb. I don't know what other moves he has, but he doesn't seem to have any coverage with this thing. It's always Seed Bomb. Which is good, but yeah. He needs more. Alakazam! Um, Houndoom Wall's its best moves, but it's got to Focus Blast me, isn't it? Gonna go for my Snarl. Is it pack an Energy Ball and Focus Blast? Probably. Gravity. That's not what I was expecting. Okay. Thanks for the free turn, jerk. Is he gonna Potion? Let's find out. Mind you, it's not over yet. 
Ref uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Bro, he threw again. Every battle, Charon throws. Better use gravity on that Hound Doom. It looks like it could start flying at any moment. Rain Dance. Um. Maybe? I don't really need Hidden Power Bug at this point. Like, I'm gonna get Scald shortly. Hypnosis is also gonna go later, too. Scald is gonna go over Aqua Tail, of course, but I can relearn Hidden Power if I want it again later anyway. I'm just gonna do this. Because I might want to use Rain Dance to, to stop Clay's Sandstorm team if he does anything like that. Because he's running Excadrill, he's probably going to run Sandstorm in some way. Why can't I beat you? Wow, I actually beat that pretty easily. Oh, you two are friends. That's nice. How you're helping each other get better by competing. He'll probably lead with like a Hippowdon with Sandstream. Okay, let's go. Because that would mean infinite sandstorm turns. Oh, if it isn't, isn't Elisa. It's me, the best champion ever. Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name's Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Charon from Nuvema Town. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. What do you do? What do you plan to do after becoming the champion? What else is there other than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger. Stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I was... I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important, too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with those two? Hey, you two, come here for a moment. Understood. Before that... Thank you. Let's battle. See, I never really understood Alder's, like, uh, storyline when I was younger, but I think I get what they're going for now. Aside from the, just the obvious, you know, Alder's way of thinking is different from Charon, I think the reason he's, like, an old man, you know, Alder is an elder, I think the idea of Charon is that he's supposed, sorry, not Charon, Alder is that he's supposed to represent that, like, even after you become the best, you know, there's still kind of more to think about after that. And I think him talking to Charon like that kind of shows that as well in a way. Maybe it could have been done better. Let me see here. It's like his whole storyline is like his Pokemon died and he just couldn't get over it. Let me see. Not explaining everything the best, but... Kind of, I kind of get what they're going for, but I just can't literally explain. He's the champ, but he's not perfect. He's not this ultimate perfect dude that Charon imagines him to be. Or imagines a champion should be. Of course, the whole game's plot is not everything's black and white. Short-term goals against long-term ones, yes. There we go. And is meant to be a contrast to Getsis. Also true. But literally anything's a contrast to Gets Getsis because he's so par far in the damn abyss of being evil. But Alder lost to N, so he dumb character. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people with many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Driftvale Drawbridge is just ahead. The champion's the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. 
Okay, okay Charon didn't really learn anything. Charon's goal is to become the strongest of the strong, and then he becomes like an early normal type gym leader. <laughs> this way. Now to contact him. It's me, Elisa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple of trainers who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Now watch this. I wonder. I know that Getsis has the most powerful frustration ever, but, um... Does, like, Alder run return? I actually don't know. Why did this bridge need to be down for so long, anyway? I have a TV gig, so I gotta go. Gym leader of the next town may take some getting used to. Do your best. What I am is a trainer. I'll prove I'm right by getting stronger and winning in battle. Even against the champion. Alrighty. Excellent. Genius Wing. I guess these are here. Sometimes above the bridge, you can see the shadows of bird Pokemon. Feathers drift around here. Pick them up, you run into a Pokemon. Remember when I had to farm a bunch of these when I did six Smeargle? That was agonizing. I hated it. When a ship passes, the bridge uh, raises and lowers, but Clay controls when the ships run from the start, so when the bridge raises and lowers, is up to Clay. Letting one guy just control it all. When Driftvale is mentioned, what comes to mind is cold storage. And Charles! Who's that? Sounds like a heartbreaker. Oh yeah. We're at the boppin' music. So you're the trainers Alice was talking about, huh? I'm Clay. I'm a gym leader around these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now. Because when we lower that bridge, Team Plasma guys we caught don't escape Nala Ruckus. That is like your problem, my dude. What a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault they escaped? You can say whatever you want, but it's important as y'all showed up, didn't Team Plasma escape? Maybe it's a little heavy-handed, but you ought to start looking for Team Plasma, too. You gonna make me, bro? You gonna pay me for that? You're both talented trainers, aren't you? Yeehaw. Tell you what, you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life is all about give and take. Well, suppose that's fair. But really, we sh would have looked for Team Plasma even if he hadn't asked. I can get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. Asprey, I'll go on ahead. There's probably a bunch of Pokemon to catch in the cold storage as well. Hang on, how far can I go past uh, this place? Okay, I can actually go into the route. That's good. What's here? Stantler. Well, it's a one-and-done Pokemon in this game. Take down. Uh-oh. He can recoil himself to death. Well, I got a crit with the slash. My low tick is here. Excellent, excellent. Cherubi! You're here. Plenty of things to catch, plenty of friends to collect. I can't really train anything to evolve right now, because I need to get my Lotix level up, because it just absolutely could not deal with her gym at all. Throw a great ball. I didn't get no shiny charm yet. I don't know if that was actually an imboss or, or if someone just got that completely wrong or what. Okay, 122. Let's go. 122, everybody. Boop. The small ball is not only filled with nutrients, it is also tasty. Starly tried to peck it off. Uh-oh. But it's got a face. Kind of messed up. Imagine you go to pick a blueberry, and it's got a face on it. Starly be like, ooh, delicious. Heal me up. I should see if they sell quick balls here yet. That would actually be very handy at the moment. 
I got fly, but I don't feel like going back to, like, restore the fossils right now. Uh, dusk balls. Those are cool. Give me 13 of those. Hang on. Can I buy ultra with four badges, actually? No, I cannot. Damn. Well, this is good enough for now. It just turned dark here, didn't it? What about the cold storage? We can go down there a little bit. PP up. What should I use that on? Not really necessary yet. Maybe I should save it for Leaf Storm on, um... Oh, okay, Snow Runs. It's a girl, I should catch this one. Um, I could save it for Leaf Storm, yeah. That would be a good idea. Hydrate and posture check. Don't mind if I do. And I killed it with a crit. On faint attack. God damn. Stretch to the meme song? You do not control the memes. I control you. I'm the streamer. I can ban anyone I want to. Let's go. Here's Ice Cream Friend. It evolves twice. I always forget that this thing evolves twice, because it looks like it should only evolve once. I always forget the, what the mid-form even looks like. Nope. Throw a Great Ball at it. I almost wonder... I Does Clay unlock Ultra Balls? Maybe it'd be a good idea to finally beat him before I uh, do that. 123, 123, 123. Excellent. Temperature of their breath is negative 58 Fahrenheit. They create snow crystals and make snowfall in the areas around them. Excellent. Don't ban you. Don't ban you. What are you talking about? I'm evil streamer. Oh, Razor Fang. Get Gliscor with this. I don't know if I'm still interested in Gliscor, to be honest. You just felt like a crash for a second. Mian Fu! Doesn't it evolve at like level 33 or something? And it dead. I want some levels right now anyway. Here a chill of the cold storage. Taste how cold it is. The TM for Scald is in the cold storage, right? Dreamer's gone mad with power. He's banning everybody. That's a baby mole. Imagine you're trying to do your job down by the cold storage, and there's sentient ice cream floating around, and also little weasels that know kung fu. That sounds like it'd be a funny, fun place to work, not gonna lie. There we go. 36. Do you think there's ice teddies down here, too? There could be. Pile of swine. You know what? Send it out. I'm gonna close combat it. Actually, it might endure, so maybe I shouldn't. Okay, it didn't. Ooh, I got the crit. Not bad. 34 for my low tick. Sneasel. Send it out. Of course I'd train bear Pokemon for my gym. My gym would be normal types, and there would just be a bunch of bears everywhere. Or, if I'm a late game gym leader, I could be a ground type user with Ursaluna as my ace. That would also work. Bayleaf. Hmm. Or just use teddies and cup juice. Let Houndoom do it. Here comes Bayleaf. We intimidate that lad. enough? Not enough. G 
chilly. I feel the shiver pass along my spine. What about the double grass? What can we find in here? Oh, pile of swine. Can I also get swine up? This is actually a decent place to train right now. Especially since they give, like, physical EVs, right? Slash. What else is here? Maybe I should make Hound Doom the second since it's about to level up. Battling Clay, he's gonna be in the 40s for levels for sure. Oh, Dawnstones. Okay, I, if I catch a girl snow runs, I can immediately get Frostlass. I wonder if running Frostlass long term might actually be good too. Oh, hey, Swellow. Didn't expect to find this here. I caught Taylo. Didn't I? I think I caught Taylo. could go for it. Gonna run out of Great Balls again. That's right. Frostlass is more of a speed Pokemon, and that's it, right? But it can set things up. And the critical capture did not work. If I catch this, it saves me the trouble of evolving. It has 80 in both offenses. Oh, it's actually equal. I thought it was mainly a special attacker. In doubles, it can spam Icy Wind. Ah, the Masquerade idea. And 70 in both defenses, okay. I feel like all my critical captures fail in this game. Alright, 124, everybody. This is some great dex progress right here. It circles the sky in search of prey. When it spots one, it dives steeply to catch the prey. It feels weird to make so much, like, added to the decks there. Oh, well, there's the Evo. I go for this. Legendaries are not going to be fun. Yeah. I know that's going to take some time to catch those, but... You all enjoy watching me hunt the rare Pokemon. People told me they enjoyed those Fool's Gold stream, where I would spend like three hours trying to get one Pokemon to appear. And I credit it, that's fine. Do a lot of Pokemon not appear in the wild until after the Elite Four? There was a part to find Charmander early on. I've used Charizard uh, enough lately, so I don't mind too much. I kind of like the spread of Pokemon I'm using right now. They're pretty nice. It's actually in Pinwheel Forest? Really, I was only finding grass starters there. Yay. Okay, here's a double, finally. Deli Bird. Well, we may as well catch that one. Earlier, we can get, like, anywhere whenever we want. Ursa Ring is probably about to go down. Hmm. Would incinerate kill. No, no, no. I should switch to Togekiss and yawn it. Wait, Delibird might have Vital Spirit. It's not Iron Bundle. That's right. Did it just Crab Hammer? The hell does Delibird have Crab Hammer for? What a weird move. Fire starters are in Pinwheel Forest with a low encounter rate. Really? So I could get, like, Cyndaquil, Chimchar, and Torchic in Pinwheel Forest? I spent a long time in there. I'm surprised I didn't find any. Okay. Faint attack should be okay as long as I don't get a crit with it again. Acrobatics. Yeah, it's gonna kill me. Do you mean Pinwheel or Lost Lorn? Yeah. Maybe you got them mixed up. It's all the grass starters were in Pinwheel. It makes sense for them to be in Lost Lorn. Alright, let's check here. 
thing you're looking at says pinwheel. Okay. We'll send out Fracture. I missed the notification. Did it have Vital Spirit? Doesn't matter. I gotta press it again anyway. So, false swipe. But it failed. Okay, it probably does have Vital Spirit then. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It went off. think that the fire starters are on the outside of pinwheel forest because the encounter tables are different there okay let's throw it i never really stream at night so dusk balls aren't going to give me night encounters i guess they'll be good for caves later gosh darn it really deli bird doesn't evolve so we can just catch it and box it forever and not have to worry i'll swipe because we gotta pass a turn. And use Yawn on it again. What about water starters? Was there a place for me to find those? Don't tell me they have like a small chance of being fished up or something. I didn't go fish at Lost Lorn, I guess. Running low on Great Balls. I really should just get some Ultra Balls and Quick Balls before I go catching stuff again. Oh my god, man. The Great Balls are failing me lately. Water Starters, Route 3. Oh, are they in the grass there? Which one's Route 3 again? Is that uh, before Lenora's Town or after? Or is that the one outside of Wellspring Cave, specifically? <sighs> man. See, that's where I found my Hound Hour. So the Great Ball. Rep Bores the Desert. Okay. Why? What is your problem, you little jerk? Darn thing won't even shake now. Get in the ball. Get in the ball, Deli. Get in the ball. He won't even shake. And now he woke up again. Now he woke up. Alrighty. Well, gonna pass the turn. So just fall swipe and yawn again. Everything is good. Oh, he killed Togekiss with a crit. That's fantastic. Mm, you know, I don't even want this thing anymore. I don't want it. It should go away. I hate it. Let's get it. I guess I could use hypnosis on it. And other hilarious jokes I could tell myself. I'm trying to baton pass. Avoided the attack. Alrighty. I have to say, chat, I, uh, I had a good time streaming this week. The last couple streams have been extremely fun. Taking a couple days for a break at the start of the week helped me immensely. And doing that Pokemon Rando... Oh, he's asleep now. I can throw it. Let's see, doing that Pokemon Rando and starting Earthbound was very nice. And I'm just doing a short stream of this today because I want to make more progress. I felt like we could get a lot added to the decks, and I was right. Now, can we add Delibird? Oh, finally. Jesus. Okay. 125. Nice. Now, that's good. It carries food rolled up in its tail. It has a habit of sharing food with people lost in the mountains. Okay. I'm taking tomorrow off as well, but Saturday we're going to do more Pikmin and Earthbound, which I'm looking forward to. Let's get back to the center and heal now because my team got wiped. Ice cream. Houndoom should be able to kill this. Yeah. Yeah. Ice shard. Let's 
sounds comfy. Yes, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Weekends is planned for long streams because tomorrow I am I should be able to finish a video. I hope. Yeah, we, had, we caught a lot of Pokemon. You just showed up, did you, Lilac? I evolved a bunch of things from the PC. And I also just kind of level yeah, evolved a few things for the main party, too. Well, just Togekiss. It also helped that I had to train a whole bunch to beat Elisa. There we go. Let's see what Houndoom looks like. Perfect. Let me see. Now, I think I just feel in a better mood this week as well. Even people like that idiot earlier don't even soil my mood. Sometimes it's easy to just get in a bad mood due to one thing for a whole stream. Ooh. Let's do it. I should make time for another session of Stadium 2 next week, maybe. You just have a long way to go, and I can only take a little bit of that game at a time. Okay, now that we've done that, maybe I could check the northern route again. Let's see. What levels are we looking at here? Ursa Ring can still evolve, or sorry, level up quickly, so I think I want to return to the north. Um, hang on. I haven't fished, like, once today, so let's try and fish up one Pokemon. I don't think there's any water bears to find. Finneon! Finneon! I guess it could evolve soon. You just grab it with a dive ball. I never think about Finneon, ever. Yeah, I can only take Pokemon Stadium in short bursts because of how obnoxious it is with RNG. Eh, let's try this. One, two, three. Oh, 126. Perfect. Let's see. There we go. Line, uh, sorry, the line running down its side can store sunlight. It shines vividly at night. Cool. Vineon was transferred to box four. Well, I did fish. Maybe I could fight that scientist and get some more money for balls. Bonsly. At this level, it should come with Mimic. Here I am thinking I'm gonna train, and instead we're dealing with this. You know what? Hang on. If you got sturdy, I'll catch you. If not, your experience. No sturdy. I came here just to get some levels for my bear and to see what's available. Probably not gonna go too much longer. Hmm, you're an interesting case. Please help me with my experiment. Excellent. Oh, by the way, I'm reminded because of the teddy. This month, for sure, I want to start playing Zelda Spirit Tracks. I want to start doing Zelda playthroughs regularly again this year. Hmm. We did so many last year, though. Like, the playlist has, like, 60 vids. 60, over 60 damn streams of that. Not including the randos, too. But, uh, Link to the Past, I'm, I want to play a randomizer of that again next week with the Hamtaro sprite. Because I've been wanting to do something, like, eh, with the Zelda rando again, and the Hamtaro sprite is perfect. Everybody loves Hamtaro here. It would look so cute. I'm a slash saws buck. 37. Show me them gains, little bear. Show me them gains. Defenses are still underwhelming, but hey. Experience share is really helping. Excellent. Well, I have, just like with Phantom Hourglass, I have Spirit Tracks set up on my um, Wii U, so I can use proper touchscreen gimmicks. I'm not, like, doing anything crusty on emulator. We got Deerling. Doesn't Deerling evolve, like, in, it, in the 20s? He's going faint attack, too. 
Phantom Hourglass was a little crusty on Wii U because of the microphone gimmicks. So for those that don't know, the, um, I'll use Pokeballs here. The Wii U ha uh, gamepad has a built-in microphone and it emulates it for the DS games that require it, but uh, it's very crusty, right? There's a part in Phantom Hourglass where a dude wants to sell you something, and, but he'll only sell it to you if you're if you're motivated enough, right? So what that means is he wants you to scream into the microphone that you want it really badly. So you need a loud sound input to, to for him to sell it to you. And I kept yelling into it, and it would not work no matter what, right? And at one point, I just started like I I literally like just kind of soft punched the, where the microphone was on the gamepad, and that read it as a max input. So that literally worked to just kind of hit the controller. Unironically hilarious. Took like a millisecond for that to work. So whenever you need a hard input, you just smack the controller and it works perfectly fine. Uh, 127. Perfect. The color and scent of their fur changes to match the mountain grass. When they sense hostility, they hide in the grass. Little deer. Excellent. Let me see here. I didn't want to get violent with the controller, but I was out of options. <laughs> I don't break controllers on purpose. Sure, Ruby. All right, Teddy, you can do this. the Cherubi fainted. Let's see here. Remember when I fixed my PS5 controller by smacking it on the desk? Yes, that that still works, by the way. I've been using it for a few PC games lately. The PS5 controller I had that came with the console at launch, um, it started having, like, stick drift, and I was pretty much at the point where I was gonna get a new one, so I just whacked it against the desk, and it just started working perfectly fine. Dry skin, love water moves and rainy weather. Let me see. That controller still has worked perfectly fine ever since I did that. Don't ask me why it works, but it did. It was either that or throw it away. I think for PC games now, I kind of changed between my Xbox controller and PS5. Some newer games feel a lot more comfortable with PS5, like uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake and Elden Ring. I pref much prefer to plug the PS5 controller in, but other stuff I, I just... Yeah, pretty much games like this I prefer to have an Xbox controller. I mean, yeah, the Xbox controller I plug into my Nintendo DS. That one. You guys don't have that where you live? Maybe it's just a Canadian thing. We have a lot of little experimental technology up, up north. Don't question it. I also plug it into my PSP when we play Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force. Air Slash. Flinched! Not with that attitude. Get him. Look at Ursa Ring's big round tail. Got a big fluffy bear tail. Let me see. Whimsicott. Could probably... Hmm... Togekiss is lacking a level. There we go. Yeah, yeah, controller's fine now, don't worry. I had to get a new Xbox controller, though, because that one was... That one was just dead, like the shoulder button just stopped working. From what I understand, though, people are having a lot of issues with newer Xbox and PS5 controllers. Like, they just die super easily. Let me see... They don't make them like they used to, apparently. In fact, we learned all about you. Do you know about this berry? A cherry berry. I do know much about it, in fact. Listen carefully, you may hear the sound of breathing of Pokemon and plants. No, I won't. You're lying. Maybe last trainer fight here. I think you can go to the entrance of uh, the mountain, right? Hang on, is it Charge Stone Cave or Reverse Mountain you go to next? I actually don't remember. Char Charge Stone Cave is after Skyla, right? Oh god, I can't remember. I, I actually can't remember. 
<laughs> Let's go. First is Charge Stone. Okay, so the mountain is after Skyla then, I think. Just attack, Teddy. You can do it. Oh, here comes Quiver Dance. Reverse Mountain is black and white too only. Oh, okay. Twist Mountain is after Skyla. That's why I was confused. I don't remember what the hell I even entered in black and white 3. Alamomola. I say we let Boopy get some action. Here we go. No sap sipper here. We're cutting this fish up. Sushi style. Damn, that did a lot. But the HP bar went down real slow, so you know this thing's tanky as hell. Oh, come on. 10% chance, everybody. Or was it 20 now? God, I can't remember. I never remember. I just know Water Pulse always confuses me half the damn time. It's 20? Okay. Was it 10 in Gen 3? Remember it being 10 somewhere. Jump Pluff. I guess I better switch. Mm, I could Ancient Power it. Maybe. Look at that Pluff floating around. Look at it. It looks like it's having fun, but when the dandelion seeds blow off of it, it dies. That's not good. But Jumpluff looks pretty happy. Kill. Yeah, there you go. Oh, hear the sad melody of total defeat. I'm pretty sure there's still a good handful of trainers. Hang on, I believe this is around the point you get Surf, right? How do, you, how do you get that again? I think maybe, does Clay give it to you after you beat him? When he lets you in the cave or something? God, I can't remember where Surf is. I am losing my mind thinking about this. Black and white too, that's where that, ha that happens, okay. What about this one? <clears throat> Pardon me. It's after Skyla and black and white one. Oh, is it at the t top of that tower? Celestial Tower, I think it's called? At least we have plenty of things to fight and train on for next time. Did we get Scald? No, it's somewhere in cold storage. I don't have it yet. I've kind of just been scouting around doing stuff. Drooby is down. I Okay then, I guess we're not getting to move very far. There's a deer again. After all, why not? Why shouldn't we attack the Deerling? Because it jump kicks us. Run! Imagine seeing a deer kick a bear. Isn't this deer a Deerling? Yes, it is. Welcome to our center. Let's heal up probably give some stones to a couple Pokemon. Taking a look at the main team right now. I think they're doing just fine. Um, you need Leaf Storm, you need Scald, you need Air Slash, you need to evolve, you need something for sheer force, you need Flamethrower, because oh my god, we're still using Incinerate at level 39. They still all have some growing to do. Uh, Scald is gonna happen next time for sure. Probably not gonna evolve you next time. It's like 48, was it? We can get close, but it's gonna take a while to level up with its growth, right? So we probably should just, uh, let it happen naturally. By the time we get to Skyla, we can have Haxorus, I'd say. Or maybe a little bit after Clay, who knows. Let me see here. 
to evolve some stuff. I did catch a Modest Pichu, but I don't really need to use it. I sure as hell don't need it for Clay, the Ground-type leader, too. Let's see here, let's see... Uh, did you have Rollout? You do not have Rollouts. Firestone for you. Uh, where's the Vulpix? There it is. Can use Firestones on these two right quick. Paxorus is 48. Okay. Go over here. Firestones were a bit down, weren't they? I got them a while ago. Uh, wait. Didn't I find Firestones? Uh-oh. Maybe I don't have Firestones. Oh, there they are. Never mind. I passed it, did apparently. Okay, let's get the least popular Pokemon that literally exists. Go to 128. Hell yeah. Look at it. Ew! We have Infernape at home. Uh, might not. Oh, I th hang on. I think I clicked out. That's why. Okay, let's use another one. And let's get a Ninetales. Who knows? Maybe we'll need Drought Ninetales later. Go to 129. I feel like we absolutely need to make an even 130 for this episode. Oh, boy. Looked in again. There we go. Alrighty, let me grab this here. Just use a water stone and get Simi Pour right quick. No, 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 no. Stop it. Why did the interface have to be so clunky compared to four and three? Ain't that. Place the nine tails. There we go. I think I have six water stones on me somewhere. Water, water, water. Moonstones, sunstones. Oh, I didn't just pass it again. Shiny stone, helix fossil. Oh, I don't have water stones, do I? <sighs> Unless I just passed it again. I got six fire stones, but don't have leaf stones yet. Damn. Hang on, I could just evolve the Muna then. Yeah, let's just get Musharna right quick. And also get Clefable. But we should end on 130. <laughs> we should end on 130. That'll be best. Good, nice, clean, even number there. Moonstones, there they are. They're at the bottom. Or left. Alrighty, now let me get this here. 130, 130. Hell yes. 130 Pokemon from at this episode. Not bad. Knocks it out of the park, because I'm almost sure we started at 80 something today. That's a lot of progress for three and a half hours. But I only beat one gym leader that whole time as well. To be fair, she was a nightmare. She was a freaking nightmare, and I still needed luck to win that. And an Onyx for some reason. Okay, just so I don't forget, let me get out the Pokemon I need. What did I put away for this? My Lotic? No, Togekiss. Togekiss is my friend now. No one make fun of it. This team still has some growing to do. They all need something to be a bit better. 
Let me see now. They're all pushing 40 for level, so that's good. We don't really need to use the EXP share too much more for my low tick. Once it has Scald, it'll be able to slaughter things on its own. I think this is a good stopping point, yeah. We have a whole route, the cold storage, and Clay's gym to do. So, doing that, <laughs> we have plenty of things to do. We can catch more Pokemon as well. I'm kind of running out of money, though, and I've, I've used, like, most of my Great Balls. Anyways, everybody, if you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops. I hope you enjoyed this little short stream today. Good progress. It's nice to see the number go up. Next time, we hopefully shouldn't get, like, locked down too badly by the gym leader. I have Rain Dance on my low tick to cover Sandstorm strats, if that's what Clay is going to do. So, hopefully that'll be okay. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.